There was a disgruntled employee. There was a there was an issue with you know them not paying him apparently, and so mm. put out a ton of content. So there's spoilers all uh, over the internet right now. Sue negative. his ass into so like negative. I don't give a fuck. Sue his ass. Yeah, like you, he's done. Because that's sue what, this guy into oblivion. Because that's sue what, this guy into oblivion. The sue what? this guy into oblivion. You m mm. Hey guys, Triple G Beast here, and I'm joined with some friends of mine. Hello everybody, say hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Fuck you, Naughty Dog! Mm. Yeah, we're starting <laughs> off strong. Uh, yep. Oh, we're yeah, starting off super strong. High. That's the kind That's of high, everybody. <laughs> and the <that> energy, girl! <laughs> That that ought to tell you, that ought to give you an in, some insight as to what we're doing aside from whatever the video is going to be titled. So I'm joined with uh, Justice Meaning Spring 68. He was that guy that screamed just now. For those of you that are wondering, what's up, what's up everybody? <laughs> uh, the Game Reaper Logan, what's up, dude? What's up, uh, Anthony the Pelinator 27. Hello, it's me. Last but not least, Mr. Nightmare or Travis. But no one calls him that. Everyone calls him Nightmare, aka CBM Nightmare X. What's up? So, uh, if you guys have been living under a rock, most of you, especially in the gaming world, have probably already heard that The Last of Us Two <clears throat> has been heavily leaked. And I'm just not just talking like some gameplay. I'm talking cutscenes, very delicate parts to the story, like the most important parts of the story are out there in public. And we're looking at nearly an hour and a half footage of cutscenes and gameplay that has been leaked by a disgruntled employee. Now, let me firstly say that I do not condone people leaking things before they're made. Like, I know if I'm working on a project that's taking me hundreds of hours or whatever to do and spent a ton of time and money working on it, if someone leaks that before it's released, I'd be very pissed off. However... This is a very extenuating circumstance, for the lack of better term, and we're going to explain why. Now, it's safe to say that just about all of us here, we're big fans of the first game, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, I played the yeah. first game at my brother Ricky's house. Played the remastered version. It was fantastic. It's an incredible game. I wouldn't say it's one of the greatest games ever made. That's just my opinion, but I think it's an excellent game. Some people say it's the greatest game ever made. To be honest... I can understand why. I don't agree with that opinion, but I totally understand why. Because production value-wise, it's 10 out of 10. The voice acting, perfect. The graphics, incredible. It still holds up today, even though it came out, what, six, seven years ago? Uh, it came out in 2013, yeah. There. Yeah, the, the story, the characters, the gameplay. I really don't have any major complaints with the game. My only major yeah, complaint I mean, if, if with the first game... For bigger. <laughs> my... Yeah. My only major complaint with the first game is the fact that it's pretty linear and nothing really changes if you play it through multiple times. But other than that, I really don't have any major problems with it. So naturally, when a second game was announced, I was very intrigued. And I would say hyped, not super hyped, but pretty hyped. The reason why I wasn't super hyped is because there have been some weird things going on with Naughty Dog behind the scenes. The thing that really kind of made me go, uh, is they kept delaying the game over and over and over again. They just eventually went, okay, you know what, we're delaying it infinitely. I'm just like, what are y'all doing? So that made me a little bit nervous, okay? 
I, but I mean, delaying it right now is perfectly justified given the whole coronavirus thing. But that's besides yeah. the point. That's besides the point. I mean, that's another yeah. topic. That's for another me. video for another day. Yeah, it, well, <laughs> no, let's not make a video about that at all. We don't need <laughs> no, 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 we don't need The that. media is covering it. Uh, yeah, media is doing their whatever. As yeah, shitty as it may be, they are covering it. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. Are, yeah. Are yep. And uh, we're just going to get this out of their way right now. None of us here are sexist. None of us here are racist. None of us here are transphobic, homophobic, whatever slur you want to use. It's just not true. We just enjoy fun games. Period. These leaks basically prove that that's not going to be the case. And we're going to explain why. <sighs> so, I have here in front of me... Firstly, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to talk about what the spoilers are. So again, I have a small disclaimer at the beginning of the video that this video is going to contain spoilers. So once again, if you really don't want to be spoiled, I recommend not watching this. But if you are a Last of Us fan, if you love this franchise to death, I still implore you to watch this if you haven't seen the spoilers yet. For those of you that have seen the spoilers and you just want to see some people rage, well, hey, welcome. Glad to have you. <laughs> yeah. Yes, please, welcome. welcome. Especially, They're the especially right. Welcome, welcome to me. Give I got some... Give them the way I introduce myself. Got some whiskey here, so I'm ready to go. So, firstly, I'm going to talk about the spoilers themselves, and then we're all just going to see our thoughts briefly, and then I'm going to go over a couple more articles that, if you're still not convinced that these leaks have ruined the game. The next couple articles I'm going to read off to you will 99% likely change your mind. And hey, if if after you've seen this video and you're still excited for the game and you want to buy it, I'm happy for you. It's your money. Do whatever you want. So I will strongly defend that point. Again, if you're excited for this game, whether or not you've seen the leaks or not, you still want to buy it, that's totally up to you. These are just a couple of morons on the internet giving our opinion on this. And hopefully you can understand where we're coming from. That's really all we're trying to do with this is if you're dead set on getting this game, hopefully you can understand why some people are really pissed off. So let's just jump right into this. So I have here in front of me an article that contains the major leaks that were released for The Last of Us 2. And again, as you can see, an hour and 35 minutes of gameplay and cutscenes. That... Holy fuck, that's crazy. Okay, anyway, mm -hmm. so, couple bullet points here. Confirmed. You play the first half of the game as Ellie. That's fine with me. And the cool. second half of the game as Abby. Joel. So the second that's half yeah. of the game is Abby, the character featured in the PGW 2017 mm -hmm. trailer played by Laura Bailey. Excellent voice mm -hmm. actress, okay? Oh. So, so f I am disappointed I didn't... You know, reading that, I didn't get to play as Joel, but hey, they can make it work, right? Yeah, totally. Uh, hold on, so, hold on. In their defense, Joel is getting kind of old, like the character himself. True, but still. He's a bad so, he's got a good character development to be yeah. seen and heard. So a lot of these uh, images I'm either going to blur out or black out because I don't want YouTube striking me down because I know they've been really douchebags about that lately. But anyway, next bullet point. The game has you fighting Ellie from the perspective of Abby. Uh, okay, next. Huh? Dina is pregnant with Jesse's baby. Okay. Her and Ellie are trying to start a family. Okay, I mean, that's cool, I guess. <sighs> Joel dies at the hands of Abby. There is a scene early on in the game where Joel gets his skull caved in by Abby with a golf club. Later on, a scene between Ellie and Dina takes place where Dina explicitly mentions Joel and Jesse being dead. We're going to get back to that. I know. Hold on, guys. So, next point. Abby's father was the surgeon that Joel killed at the end of the first game. Him doing so caused this to her set out on a quest of revenge against him understandable motivation we're gonna get back to this next point um abby there this just says abby versus ellie this just seems like it's see what i don't know about this part yet though is if this is actually something you play and there's a cutscene, or if it's just a cutscene. from what i've seen it's just a cutscene so far but this could change 
All right, now we have some unconfirmed slash speculation, but given what we've been provided so far, I'm pretty sure these are probably at least 70 to 80 percent true. So let's take a look at some of these other bullet points. Let's see. One of these surgeons Joel killed had a daughter called Abby. Okay. Uh, the Firefly Massacre destroyed her whole life. She's been looking out for revenge ever since. I mean, we've already kind of read that. Um, knew who Ellie was because of her dad talking about their shot at a cure. Figured out Joel from Firefly Records. That, that would make sense. Cole attacks Ellie's settlement, and she, Jesse, and Dina are part of the group sent to track down and attack it. Jesse's killed during this. That would seem true, too. Uh, Ellie is now violently angry and goes to Seattle looking for the Colts' home to wipe it out. Meets Joel there because he heard about Jesse and came back to help her. From what we've seen from the trailers and stuff, I could see that being true, too. <clears throat> yeah, and the gameplay, too. Uh, Abby finds Ellie because she's been in conflict with the cult too so when ellie hunts them to seattle and set to attack them with joel her group find them and attack i could see that uh so <sighs> abby kills joel herself <sighs> hold on you have not you're having a hard time to leave takes <laughs> ellie back to camp debating what to do with her since for all her hate she doesn't blame her for the massacre okay Ellie butchers her group to escape, and Abby is now motivated to hunt Ellie down. Second half of the game is spent as Abby chasing Ellie. Oh. <sighs> Come on. Okay, okay. okay. Hold on, hold on. A couple more, a couple more. Hold on. We'll get back to this. we got a few more. Um, uh, let's see. Ellie continues hunting the colt while you chase her down. So the ending is Ellie and Abby fighting to the death. You kill Ellie as Abby, and she leaves while realizing she's not really one in any meaningful way, since all she's done is get more of her loved ones killed for the sake of her killing Joel and then Ellie. The official ending is, quote-unquote, psycho of revenge, with the loose implication Ellie's friends will hunt Abby now in her turn. Um, okay. <clears throat> if I can mention a little something real quick, hearing Abby's, hear, hearing Abby's original motivation to kill Joel, now I get it. Because uh, initially I didn't, initially I didn't know. Because now I get it. Because let's go ahead and look at it from her perspective. If there were us in that situation, we'd want to kill the guy too. We'd yeah. want to kill the guy too, wouldn't we? The question is, would we be so. able to? I mean, Joel's Joel's been surviving for more than twenty years. He a lot. I mean, his brother, Tommy, wouldn't have survived without him. And Ellie wouldn't have picked up her skills without him. So, yeah. Joel's ultimate badass through and through in the game. But it's like... So, a new character mm. like Abby. And no offense to... And no offense to anybody there who thinks that Abby might be a great character. Because for all we know, she might be. Like, don't necessarily mm. take what we're saying to heart. For all we know, it might work. But that, that's... But we think that's... And, and we think that's the point. point. And, but one and, thing and I'd like to point change. out. One thing I'd like... Yeah, it can not change. But one thing I would like to point out, though, is that, like... Would Abby necessarily have the skills to take both of them down by herself? Well, she was she was mm. young. I would assume she was a lot younger when her father was killed. I assume. She well, was... uh, okay, no, I don't like, know. I don't know. Josh, do you, Josh, do we know? Do we know when the Last of Us Part Two takes place? How like how long after the five years the original later? Game? No, five from years from what I've heard, it's more uh, along the lines of seven to ten. Um, no, five okay. seems a little too short considering like the age gap. So I, uh, I've heard seven to ten, which sounds more feasible to me. Especially if mm -hmm. Abby was probably the same age, if not maybe a little younger, a little older than Ellie at the time. Um, but considering uh, how much people have grown since then physically, I'd I'd say more along the lines of seven to ten. Mm -hmm. Admittedly, admittedly though, the picture I've seen of Joel, he does not look like he's aged particularly that much. But I'll get. But you know, it's whatever. It's like, yeah, that's that's neither here nor there. It's it's not a huge yeah, it's thing. Here nor there. Anybody else have any input? <sighs> you guys go ahead. I gotta think this over. <laughs> yes, yeah. please. He's gotta, he's gotta, he's gotta. So, ask me what do you think my thoughts are on which part exactly? Cause um, I've got like a uh, basically things. like what you think of like what you think of the idea of like. Uh, 
Well, actually, just go with whatever you want. I can't think of anything, so go with whatever you want to point out. Well, so... The fact that we got this new character, Abby, mm. that we're playing as the second half of the game, why would the creators, directors, and the maker of this game think it's an even remotely good idea to play this new character after killing the sole protagonist of the first game? Why would they think that'd be a good idea in the first place? <laughs> Yeah, it's a bit of flip the it's like a it's a the flip the script kind of moment on you there. It's like if I could point out one thing about this, one thing I do agree with is that you're basically playing the bad guy again, just like with Joel. Like he mm, was, you yeah. could actually say he was the bad guy originally because he but, completely fucked the world's yeah. chance of getting true. Yeah, that's mm. but like I just don't I don't see it physically possible. Because in the first game as Joel, you survive fights against like almost every single type of enemy of that game. And it comes down yeah. to him dying from... A, a golf club. Th this random girl with a he golf club. He got the Glenn and... treatment. He literally got the Glenn treatment in the worst <laughs> possible way. Oh Don't gosh, do what did you boy. remind me of <laughs> that? I thought we agreed not to talk about that. <laughs> Don't oh, talk about that. Never, that's you know, that's why I see I give you props, man. <laughs> that's what I see it as, but I mean, well, even still, I mean, you gotta let's, agree let's with me. Admit. How do you, how do you physically see it being possible him surviving fights with all types of individuals to be being caved in by a golf club by a well, person we've never seen before? And, and just met in this, this well, uh, not, second not to like side again, not to like side against our points of view here. But I would like to point out, it's like. When you're living in a world like that, death is pretty much around every single corner. And even if you're like the ultimate badass, there's even the simplest of things could end up being your end. Anthony, is there anything else you'd like to mention? No, uh, <laughs> not right now, at least. I'm too pissed off to really even think about it. Okay. Um, <laughs> right, are we uh, Okay, now Logan. Now yeah, we go back go to Logan. You. Logan. Yeah. Just yeah, what would you input say, whatever man? you want. Input whatever you want. Um, to just kind of like put something out there for. The uh, the Joel death. Please do. If if you think about it, with what mm. uh, Josh said for the leaks, the game looks like it's more focused on the women aspect of it. Yes. Uh, so you can mm. you could technically take a woman beating a golf club over Joel's head, killing him as like an anti-man thing. If you mm. want to take it that way. Not I that we're not that it, we're so saying like, that we are. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What are you a bigot? We'll get into that. We'll get into that. We'll get into that. We'll get into that. Keep we'll that keyboard. Right we right know. So Logan, please continue. That's all I wanted to say. <laughs> no, that's all right. all Nightmare. Do you have anything? Ah <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, you know, I get. Uh, I'll point this out. We we mentioned this earlier. Uh, I I've never played Last of Us One. I want to just make that clear right off the bat. And I if do any know. Of you are, and any of you too. watching this are saying he's missing out, you, I absolutely agree with you. Yeah, I, I know. We're, we're missing sorry, out on the first game. It's not, it's not the second one so far. Yeah, the first not one. I never, I, I, never, <laughs> yeah, I, I never played the first one. I mean, so far. Um, but but I, I know pretty much the gist of it. I know like what happens at the end. El, uh, Joel takes Ellie away from where she was being uh, worked on or what have you. So I know the gist of that. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know, man. It, it, Looking at the leaks right now, or look at seeing, uh, realizing what the leaks are, and this character Abby, and that we just this new character we've never met before, we meet her in this game, and then apparently she's responsible for killing Joel midway somewhere midway or near the end of the game, and then you, you switch to her, near the, and then you're killing Ellie or supposedly killing Ellie, you know, depending on, I, I just I don't see it, man. I just don't know how. I don't know where Naughty Dog got this idea from. I don't if this is actually a thing. I don't know what gave him this bright idea to kill not only Joel off but Ellie. I, I mean, again, Abby had a good reason for killing Joel. But oh yeah, I mean, Ellie. But in turn, it gave Ellie a good reason to try and escape. Yeah, it, it, I don't know, man. It's it's very. It, it, Again, it's, it's like out really, there it's, most definitely. It's, actually, you know what? That actually that actually brings me to this one thing, like this one philosophy thing, like that. It's like in a world like that, basically revenge it goes both ways, and there's really no winner. Yeah. Which then is again, what I think that's, then again, implying. I think you can use that philosophy for real life. So. They're, they're, which yes. is kind of what they're implying in the in the game. Yeah, too, it's where, it's, you know, it's she... yeah. I think from what Josh said, like Josh, you you said like, in the end, like Abby ends up becoming conflicted, right? 
or something along those lines. Like yeah, she feels like me, she hasn't won. Let me just say. <sighs> Please do. You got you, you, let your out, turn. you gotta, you gotta okay. get it out, man. Because these leaks are true. And I'll explain why in a second, but there is no possible way I am buying this game. There is no part in my system, in my being, where I could support this game. And I wouldn't play this if it were free. They would have to pay me and go on their knees and beg me to play this. Yep. Here's the thing. All right, so... Just imagine, just imagine they hear this video and they they come to us and they're like, they knock, they knock on our door, please, 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 and and if they wanted to, if they wanted me to review the game, it would have to be unbiased. Like I would not take bribery money to like, please play our game. We'll pay you, but only say good things. Not gonna happen. Would never do that. But here's the thing, though. So I kind of expected Joel to die in the second game. So oh, the the aspect of him dying in the second game, I kind of see saw that coming. So the the aspect of him dying doesn't bother me. The way he dies bothers me, and I'll explain why. Especially so, so early. I'll explain why. Yes. Yeah, midway through the game. I mean, all the marketing for The Last of Us Two, like Ellie is all over the covers. She's prominently in the trailers. So I was like, okay, you're probably gonna play. A good chunk, if not maybe all the game is Ellie, maybe someone yeah. else, but mostly Ellie. I never really thought of Ellie being a main character. She's a great character, phenomenal character, but I never could see her carrying a game by herself. Again, I'm cool with her being a playable character for even half of a game, but I don't think she could carry a whole game on her own. The reason why I really like the first game so much, the story, is that Joel and Ellie relationship. Because when Joel lost Sarah, his daughter, again, incredible but heartbreaking scene. It happens in the beginning of the game. And then you have this other girl that comes along and he doesn't want anything to do with her because he realizes that Ellie reminds him of Sarah in a way. And he doesn't want to be burdened with the thought of, if anything happens to this girl, I can't go through that kind of pain again. I can't. Mm -hmm. So the first half of the first game, he's trying to get Ellie to his brother Tommy. Even though he thinks that they've been doing good so far, Ellie thinks that she and Joel make a great team. Joel is still like, I don't want anything to do with you. Because he can't handle the pain of losing someone like that again. But over time, we all know, as the game goes on, Ellie sort of becomes a, for lack of a better word, a surrogate daughter for Joel. And he yeah. begins to care about her. So much so that the whole last level of the game is you literally massacring the Fireflies to save Ellie's life. Right? So, that whole aspect of Joel wanting to take care of this daughter figure of his in the second game, that's now gone. Right? That's the whole, like, that that was the whole intrigue with Joel and Ellie's relationship. See, so you see what I mean where Ellie makes a great character, but I don't think she could carry on a whole game by herself, at least a good chunk of Not the with game without Joel. Now here's yeah. the thing. I would have been fine if Joel died at the end of the second game. And then That's the second game ends with with Ellie and then maybe, you know, her girlfriend or whatever go on a quest for revenge. I'm 100% cool with that. Kill Joel off at the end of the second game. That makes sense. Yeah. But to kill him off so early in the game and then this part boggles my mind. I genuinely don't understand what they were thinking. You want me to play as the person as the that killed as the person him? That killed Joel. You must no be sense. fucking insane. I don't want to kill her. I mean, why not? To, I to think, okay, yeah, here's the thing. Kill you gotta now? think about like, this. On, you gotta man. think about this. One of the people that made this game thought it was a good idea. You gotta think about yeah, that. I know, right? Someone it, at the studio thought it was a good idea, and they're like, all I, I right, let's do this. It's gonna do great. Someone made a... I think it was... I was watching a few videos on this. I think it was by a YouTuber called The Amazing Lucas. 
he made a video on this, and he basically summed up a good metaphor. This is basically if the next Spider-Man game comes out, but in the first couple hours into the game, they kill Peter, Peter Parker dies, Mary Jane <laughs> die, oh my um, God. Miles Morales dies, and then... Oh you can forget it. You end up playing as Dr. Octopus, and you team up with the Green Goblin, and the game ends with you and him robbing stores all across New York City. Or taking over. <laughs> yeah, okay. That would, yeah, okay, you can forget okay. it. If you can forget have, it. Okay, if that were, I'm like I, some villain fan played, like, fiction one, right there. I've only played like, I've only ever owned fiction. and played one Spider-Man game, but if that were to happen in any sort of Spider-Man game, I would I would not be happy. I, 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 would, I would just buy never play all. this franchise again. I would never, I would not, I'm like, no thank you. Not but, but can you see what I mean, though? This really is, yeah. like, this to me, it seems like fan fiction. Like, but this is real. Exactly. Like, what if Joel was killed by this character and you get to play it? Or something like that. And I get where people are coming oh, from, where they're like, hold on, hold on, they might make it work, it might make sense. I can't... Hell no. I can't physically I see know, this man. working. I can't. I mean, the I same know. thing happened with... Because leaks came out for The Rise of Skywalker. And I read mm -hmm. them, and I was like, this is going to be shit. Unless something drastically... People are like, hold on, something drastically might happen. I'm like, no, I'm pretty sure they won't because the writers aren't that clever. Guess what? Movie came out. It was still shit. So my hopes are not high. And yeah. why, why would you make us play as the freaking... I don't understand but, how, they're, they're how it's possible that you have this mm -hmm. chick named Abby who looks like she has more muscles than Hulk Hogan. <laughs> oh, she no, pretty brother. Beefy. oh no, brother. <laughs> oh, brother. What oh, you brother. gonna do? And <laughs> Wait, Josh, that reminds me. Wasn't it what you, you that posted do, that picture? <laughs> oh, no. uh, oh my lord, have oh, my God. <laughs> Which one was that? Macho Ma'am Abby Savage. Uh, yeah, hold on. He I'm survived blows. <laughs> Now and, and hunters <laughs> and hunters took him down. But seriously, look at this. If you block, oh if you look at this picture, you can't see their face. The body looks like a dude. Look. That's a dude's <laughs> that body. Crazy. That looks like it would have been Joel if he had like pecs <laughs> and like, just toned muscles. <laughs> Ooh, that's, yeah, a, yeah, that's a girl. If those are supposed to be women's breasts, they that's look, supposed okay, to be really a girl. Shouldn't be saying that. That's an edited <laughs> face. Steph, those are small titties, man. I'm showing she's Steph a, the picture. Okay, let's she's not very, put it like very, that, Logan. She's a very buff girl. That's <laughs> Yeah, she's a very. Uh, but buff I, I guess girl. to be, I guess to be fair, I get not to defend it necessarily, but I guess to be oh, fair, though, in, in, if you want to survive in a world like that, you kind of have to have some. Yeah, that, that, yeah that's you, true. I mean, look at Joel. I mean, look at Joel. He went, all that, all that shit he had to lift, especially at the start of the game, especially at the start of the first game, he wouldn't have been able to lift if he didn't have muscle. Oh man! And then this other picture where he, it is, ma'am. It is, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Last time you said, "Excuse oh, me, sir. sir." Hit you with golf. Clubs. It's me. <laughs> yeah, like. It is Joel, me. Joel, and like, you just see Joel me, lying there, it dead, pool cool of blood around his head. If I was Joel, I was like, "Okay, kill me. I can't take this anymore." <laughs> I can't. I can't do this anymore. I, Actually, I'm, no, I'm, Josh. I, worse I, than no, this Josh. Shit. I imagine if you being more like this, like you, you have your, like you have your gun, and then you just chamber around and you just blow your own head off. I, you know, my daughter died in the first like, game early okay. on. You know, like, I, I can't okay. take it anymore. You'll be like this, Josh. You're like, okay, I'll save you. Yeah, just kill me with that golf club. <laughs> yeah, my, my daughter died in the very first game, and now you got this crap. I, you just, just end it, please. Like God, the, please. the only way I see this, I see this working, is if like Joel is asleep or something, or which I doubt it because the room he gets killed in is like wide open. There's like no furniture in there, or mm. he gets like sucker punched or something, or. Um, he gets ambushed by a big group, and they're all holding him down while she beats him with a golf club, I guess. Yeah. That'd be the only way I could see it work. But again, it's not the idea of Joel dying. It's how he dies it's, and yeah, how early it is. And then yeah. these fucking dumb bitches <laughs> decide, hey, you know what would be a cool idea? Family friend. You should play as the killer. Yeah, that's a great idea. And then and then kill Let's his. Play as his Abby, dog, dog. the bitch that <laughs> killed our main protagonist from the first game. And kill uh, his, the other. I have a question. Protagonist. 
Woo! What is your question? Last of Us 2, everybody. If. If. <laughs> it's a big, it's a big, big fucking No. If, <laughs> What's the if? If we do end up playing the game and we get to that final fight between Abby and Ellie, who would just let Ellie kill Abby and fail the game? Man. <laughs> right. I'm raising my, my hand. hands up for that. Oh, both both hands are up. My hand too. Yeah, exactly. like I, I, I got my foot up. I got, I got no, my foot up. <laughs> no, I just got like, Put up all your limbs. All your limbs are up. <laughs> put them up. Put them up. You're all, no, here's all the thing, in. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Little, we would end up completing off. the game in the end, but we'd want to see Abby die at least a few times. Now, you know what I would do? And in, in The Last of Us Part 3, when uh, you play as Abby and then you finally get to Ellie and then you have, you have to fight Ellie as Abby, I would honestly just keep letting Ellie kill me over and over again and yeah, just right. turn the game off after saying that for like a hundred times. Like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the end great. of the game. That's the end of the game. Ellie kills Well, uh, kill me Abby, personally, I would just let Ellie kill me at least a few times and like I'd probably let keep going until I got bored, until I I, I saw like every like, yeah, single possible way she could kill me. And then I'd be like, alright, fuck it, I'll just go ahead and end this. She, just kill, kill Ellie like, and then I'll be like, uh, oh, okay, now okay, now I've gotta live with myself. To kill like Mortal Kombat style fatality. And then I'll look at Ab and then I'll look at Abby feeling all conflicted and everything. I'll be like, yeah, yeah. You see how I feel. You know how <laughs> I feel. You know how you understand. The this pain. is why I kept letting you die. The pain that I feel right now. It's it's not confirmed whether or not Ellie dies at the end of the yeah. second game, but okay. people think that. People either way, that not either way. Either she's going to die, or she becomes the villain at the end, one of the two. Either way, Naughty Dog, what What the fuck are y'all yeah, doing? I, I, I don't okay, know. Okay, now look. What okay, the fuck okay, are y'all... Okay. This is Game of Thrones Season 8, Last oh, Jedi no, Levels of no, Stupidity. No. <laughs> no, 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 Gosh. It, it, it goes back to what I said earlier. It's a flip, like a flip the script moment. It's like, whoa, just all of a sudden they completely you people flipped see, everything you people around. You see why Josh and they called us And they right? thought they it was a good all idea. of us here, idiots. They you thought know, they, it was a they, good idea for us fans. Actually, no, I don't think they really even cared about the fans at this point. Who is this game for? Who is this for? Who is this game made for? Oh, I'll tell you who this game's for. It's for it's, it's for the for politically cor It's for politically correct uh, snowflakes. Like even I even if you this. skip, I have no sense of story. You? Even if you skip no. all the cutscenes in the game, you're still gonna be like, wait, who am I playing as? Where are Joel and Ellie at? Yeah, exactly. where, where are the two? Where are the two supposed main so, characters? So for, for people that are like, oh, just skip all the cutscenes and just play and just enjoy I the gameplay. It, like, no, I can't imagine it like this. People play through the game, they see Joel die, and they're so traumatized that they just can't process the fact that he's dead. They're like, they, they, wait, they where's Joel? The game. They're like, they just wait, why aren't I playing? Like, why, why am I not playing as Joel? Like, yeah, honestly, he... if if I got Joel? to that part of the game oh, without knowing these down, leaks. Man. And I got to that part of the game where Joel dies, and then you play as Abby. I would turn the game off. Yeah, I was thinking somebody yeah. turn the well, game off. Well, fortunately, well, fortunately for you, fortunately that's for the end us, of the game. Well, fortunately for you, you already said that you wouldn't be playing the game, so yeah, he's like, right. I think you're getting off easy. Yeah, <laughs> saving money, you know. For uh, Joel, uh, Troy Baker uh, yeah, said he wanted to be able to go into this game open-minded, so that mm, allowed Joel I and Ellie to have their story. You, you know who also said something similar? You know who said something similar? Mark Hamill, Last Jedi? Did Mark, did Mark Hamill say something No, similar? no, Mark Hamill just shit, just shat on The Last Jedi. Oh, well, yeah. Ryan Johnson said the same thing before The Last Jedi came out, saying, this game, or game, this movie is really going to subvert your expectations and there's going to be some totally crazy is. twist that no one's going to expect, so you should go into it with an open mind. I think Daisy Ridley yeah. said the same thing, if I don't, if I'm not mistaken. Well, it definitely twist. did. It you know, Josh, did. you Josh, you mistakenly said game. I feel like The Last Jedi <laughs> could have been made into a game, but it would have done worse than the freaking movie. Yeah. It probably wouldn't even. It probably wouldn't have even followed up the movie. It probably, it probably wouldn't have done its own thing. It would have done its own thing. It probably would have sold one copy. It probably would have done its own thing. Digital or hard copy, doesn't matter. It probably would have only sold one. And for they lose kind of millions. Of See, I, I'm fine. I'm fine with twists. I'm fine with shocking moments, moments that take me by surprise. But if here, they're done right. here's the key ingredient: they have to be executed correctly, and they have to yeah. make sense within the story you're telling. This doesn't make like 
I understand the full game isn't released yet, and we don't know 100% of the story, but this is a monumental decision that makes no sense within the context of the story that's already been established. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's the same yeah, I mean, I mean, literally, thing with the I mean, Star Wars literally, films. here's, the th I mean, Josh, can I, can, can I say real quickly, hold on, can I say real quickly? Yes, yes, you may. Quick question for all you guys. Mm. What does any of this have to do with the zombie outbreak? Not, nothing. <laughs> doesn't sound uh, like it has anything to do with You think, the you think they go back to the original, you think they go, you think they just continue the original plot where, I like, heard that there's, like, hardly uh, zombies in, like, almost 75% of the game, like, what? at all, you don't even see them. What? That's what I've heard. What kind what of, like, so wait, 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 not even, not even so much as a, oh my clicker. gosh. They were saying, like, like, there may be a couple of clickers here, uh, and there, but there's hardly, like, any so zombies like at all, from what I've read. They're, they're oh basically... wow! Wow, Anthony, you could have just started off with that. We would have, we would have <laughs> been like, we're right out of the game. We're talking but fucking stupid. But basically, the villains of this is just the random survivors that you face throughout the game. And some sort of frick and some how, sort of freaking cult. How can yeah, anyone defend yeah. this? How can anyone defend this? Even gameplay wise, you're like, why am I finding humans most of the time? Where are the zombies? Oh. Where are the clickers? Where are the runners? Like, Where are the make in the first game? You Where's anything? The first game you fought humans like. Where are the two fists at a time? Give me more game, please. Where the hell is Actually, everything? In the first game, yep. you <laughs> fought humans like half the time. The other half, the, or maybe yeah. nearly half the time. The other, the other majority of the time, or at least the other half of the time, you were fighting zombies, clickers, yeah. the occasional bloater. Hated those yeah, things, I mean, by the way. <laughs> oh, oh, I got it. Oh, for any of you, I, I, I hated bloaters worse yeah, than just, clickers. Just throw Molotovs at. Just throw Molotovs at him. It does massive. I'll keep that in mind if I no. actually actually get the first game. The game I'll has been out for mind. seven years. I'm pretty I'll sure people that. know how to beat them, Justice. I know. <laughs> I'm just well, it'd be a good it'd be a good idea for Nightmare if he ever does get the yeah, game. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Just the Molotovs. All right. And got instead it. of you just wasting your bullets trying to shoot a. Yeah. Do you guys think? Punch. Let me ask you real quickly. Do you guys think that? The reason why they're not focusing on the infected so much is because... If you're about to say political correctness, yes. <laughs> they're, they're trying to shove a certain agenda down our throats? Hmm... I, I don't know how that would Yes, in that case, yes. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what, what, what they have to do with zombies. The game's not out yet, but I'm pretty sure that's what they're well, trying to do, yeah. I, I don't know. Considering, Josh, Josh. Considering who the main villains are, yeah, I'd say. Like, yeah. Now, now, Josh. Screw, screw the cool aspect, man. Now, just all Anthony, of fight humans. Anthony, was that you that shared an article <coughs> or something like that? And, uh, yeah, yeah. No, Anthony, you shared a YouTube video of this person calling us, of this person who's involved in the game calling us, calling people like us bigots. Yes. Yes, yes I uh. did. Yes. Yes, I'm like, like uh, but I didn't watch it, but I understood basically the concept. I have not watched it. I'm not I going to, but comments. I understand the concept of it when you said, so we are bigots now, huh? When you messaged that, I'm like, um, no, we're not bigots. We're just people that, ex we're just people that expect it sounds, good stories. What it sounds like to me is that game. they can't take constructive criticism hearing us talk about yeah. what we think about the links and they're like well you can go fuck mm. yourselves we're still releasing it and all <laughs> I, that Josh, Josh, I saw a good Josh, comment hang on, hang on time out guys time out yeah. Josh doesn't that <laughs> sound familiar uh like uh what am I thinking of starts with an s and the second it's two shit words. wars shitty wars you know what else <laughs> you know what else that reminds me of well, many things. Let's see. Um, it reminds me of Game of Thrones Season 8, um, Ghostbusters, Terminator Dark Fate. He's talking about Ghostbusters the 2016. 2016. Yes, not, yes, yeah, yeah. Let's make that clear. James got backlash for that. I, I want to make that clear for everybody who was like, whoa, whoa, go, whoa, what? No, no, don't He got worry. fucking back. And yeah. James Rolfe and Senator Asker reviewed that. He got fucking backlashed for it because he because people thought he was being sexist. But yeah, I, I'm sick and tired of writers thinking that people that dislike the story don't like them because there's prominent females or there's prominent yeah. homosexuals or transgender. Look, Ooh. I don't care about any of that stuff. You want to put um, a lesbian, a bisexual, transgender even in the game? I don't fucking care. I support that. Go for it. Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. 
But when you keep when you when you keep pushing it down our throats and when you keep making it the main like when you keep making that the main point of that character saying that like before we knew anything about Abby, the first thing that was announced was that she I, is she hom is she um, homosexual is she trans I forgot I don't remember mm. she's not straight so that's the only that's the first thing they announced was oh for oh, the first time in trans. in the Last of Us is we're gonna have a transgender villain oh and we're gonna have Ellie become homosexual okay cool what else cool. It's and like, the moment you ask what, that, it's like whatever. It's like whatever, so long as you make it work. Like I, I they saw. They experimented with it in the DLC for the first game. So. Yeah, I was thinking they they actually did. Yeah, they did. She in the she, first she game. was a lesbian in yeah. the DLC. Yeah. Yeah. So she was already. So they, they already experimented. With it was it. already established. But, to me, that's whatever. That but like a character's sexuality doesn't define their character. Exactly. Like their actions and and, and stuff define. It doesn't define a story. Like. Do you really think I care like what Master Chief does in his bedroom, or who he sleeps with? <laughs> yeah, like, I don't give a shit. Moving my headset. I don't. I, don't. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't need to talk. <laughs> like, like I was playing Doom Eternal the other night. Like, do you honestly think I care like what what people Doom guy sleeps with? Do you honestly think I care? I don't give a shit. Does it matter who? I, we he don't rips the tires. No, he's just killing shit. Is is the game mind. good? Is it fun? Does it have a good story? That's it. Boom! It's so simple, guys. It's so simple. But guess Why what you did, it? Naughty Dog? Guess what you did? You fucked up the story. The thing I care about. That's why I'm mad at the game. Ah, <sighs> it's so simple, guys. It's not rocket science or anything. It's I saw this comment the other night where uh, <laughs> someone pointed out. It was basically where it had Naughty Dog saying, in quotes, We have homosexuals and transgenders in our game. And then someone replied with, Cool, what else? And then Naughty Dog replies, You sexist! Oh. <laughs> it's like, What? Was exactly what? Sex like about their that question? Is such a left all turn, he, that's all that's such a was. left turn response from a very simple question. <laughs> that is oh, literally sorry. the most simplest <laughs> question in the world. Am I, we're talking about, am I, we're talking about Naughty Dog saying that. You wouldn't oh, expect oh. that because Naughty Dog these days are like are like one of the top tier game companies. Yeah, well now they're oh, saying yes. that. Like the oh, the game creator wow. Wow. the what game else? creator has oh. been attacking the fans saying, Oh, for those of you that are not liking these leaks because we have, you know, homosexual women and we have transgender nerd in our games, y'all are homophobic and transphobic. Dude, yeah. shut up. The fuck? And even uh, if they are, that doesn't necessarily. And even if they are, that doesn't. And even if you're right about that, that doesn't necessarily mean that that's the point that they're trying to point out. That doesn't, like that. That doesn't mean that. It. What they're <laughs> asking is like. It, what they're asking is like. What? If, what else have you done? You know, like have you? Like, are there yeah. more weapons? Are Are there Are there more supplies? What you type of zombie so, types yeah, are there gonna be? Creative. Did you what, what kind of new? What kind, like, if if the workbenches are back again, like, what what kind of new parts can we give our weapons? Right. You know, like, can we zombies. upgrade the assault rifle now? Or are there new zombies <laughs> if we that get you may one. want to introduce, you know? Like, if there are any new zombies you want to introduce, any new Are there any zombies at zombies? all? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I have a I couple more articles. Let's see here. So... All the guy asked is like... The Last of Us 2 like gameplay leak came from Dev that hates its divisiveness. This article is a pretty interesting, le uh, pretty interesting read here. Um... <clears throat> Plenty of spoiler-ridden footage was leaked online by an alleged disgruntled Naughty Dog employee. The Last of Us 2 leaked gameplay footage was supposedly released because they hate the political bias in the game. Hmm, interesting. Oh, interesting. Uh, you see, now there's hold on, something right I got there. more to read. You're not the biased. You are. Right. So, let's mm -hmm. see. Earlier this year, Sony DMCA would a post that alleged to contain the game's entire plot and, if it was a legitimate leak, it proved to be extremely divisive with some of its far-left leading plot elements. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, Troy Baker, the voice actor for Joel in The Last of Us, later confirmed that the game was Boy. super polarizing and it could not be thoroughly enjoyed Ooh. with a closed mind. Somewhat Ooh. of a hypocritical statement there, Troy. Continuing. Yeah. Uh, and Troy, Troy Baker says, quote, 
I want people to go in open-minded to this story and allow Joel and Ellie to tell their story, not the story that people think they would want to be told. If people go in open-minded to this thing, I think they will have a completely different experience than if they go in closed-minded, end quote, Trey Baker told fandom. I'll get back to that in Can just I, a second. Um... I'll get back to that in just a <laughs> second. I'll bring that up later. Um... Mm. Article continues, people took the leak with a grain of salt since, at that point, it was nothing more than hearsay. However, the recent Last of Us 2 gameplay leak has pretty much confirmed some of the original source claims, which now makes us believe the Last of Us 2 plot leak was in fact legitimate, which we now know it is. I think this article came out a few days or so before... Um, actually, no, this came out the day the leak was released, so we didn't have yeah, all 27. the details yet, but yeah, yeah. So, uh, an anonymous die. source linked to Naughty Dog reached out to us with the following <clears throat> message regarding The Last of Us 2 gameplay footage leak. Uh, I don't doubt, even for a moment, that this leak came from the studio. The Last of Us Part 2 was very divisive, and as you can imagine, some of the team aren't really thrilled to be working on the game, end quote. Mm. The source goes mm. on to talk about how stale the work env environment has been at Naughty Dog and how f so many people have had to bite their tongues because cancel culture is very much alive inside of the studio that doesn't surprise me at all um quote many people would agree with me that this has been one of the one of the worst projects they ever had to work on and that's not just because some people disagree with the plot even some of the team members are christians and don't necessarily agree with the game's message they are also professionals and can put their personal politics aside to get the job done. What really sucks about all of this is the working environment. Hmm. Damn. The, the team is very <laughs> divided on the game, and even voicing your concerns on its story will upset certain individuals. It usually results in said person being called closed-minded or even phobic. Yeah. Jesus. Or some such nonsense. Some people literally have to bite their tongues of fear of losing their jobs, even careers to an outrage mob. End quote. Okay. <sighs> Article continues. This is getting this is getting juicy. Yeah, this is yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, hey, Josh, <laughs> My wait, is flowing. Josh, you never you never really know, man. Before you continue, you really know, Logan. Josh Ooh. mentioned Troy Baker as being hypocritical. <clears throat> something he said. I'm gonna ask you to point out a little something on Troy Baker. From, that happened with Troy Baker, okay? But that's when we get back to the topic. Josh, please continue. So the article continues, Our source also alleged that the high turnover in staff is because one of the reasons mentioned above. Quote, What's really sad is that nobody is allowed to talk about any of this. Many employees have left Naughty Dog because in-house politics, and they are under a strict NDA, which stands for Non-Disclosure Agreement, for those of you that don't know, and absolutely cannot discuss the studio's production's policies secrets. Oops. End quote. I'm, maybe, I'm not making that up. That's what the quote says. Um, <laughs> oh, gosh. That's, that's, pretty good. That's, actually a, that's actually a great way to end it off. It gets worse. Naughty oh, Dog no. has a turnover rate of 70%. Oh, gosh. And didn't, like, most of the original Wait. team of Naughty Dog left during mm -hmm. production of that game? Yep. Yep. Most of its senior staff that has been there for... I'll, I'll elaborate on that too later on. We're going to get in some in some, some juicy stuff here in a bit. Yeah, juicy stuff. Um, so Josh, again... Wait, you, said, you said turnover. You mean it's like they quit? Yeah, or they just left. Yes. Yeah. And 70%? Wow, well, you know what? You know what? Naughty Dog, that should tell moly. you that you're the ones doing something wrong. There's something yes. wrong with this, this group now. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Naughty Dog has a turnover rate of 70%, which skyrocketed around the time The Last of Us Part II went into production. Our sources' mm. claims have been corroborated by a former Naughty Dog animator, mm. Jonathan Cooper, who left them in early mm. October last year. Jonathan mm. Cooper alleged that Neil Druckmann would force employees to sign a very strict NDA upon leaving Naughty Dog, or he'd withhold their final paycheck. That's illegal. Yeah, that, that, is, yeah, okay. that is completely illegal. Ooh. Naughty, naughty, naughty dog. Woof, naughty, woof, naughty. woof. <laughs> woof, 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 naughty dog. Naughty dog, listen. Woo. I, listen, That's I would fucking like to point illegal. out. Spicy. Like point out actions like right that could get the whole company shut down for good. Oh, yes. Somebody better get that. That's, call and that's, 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 that's the minimum. 
That right there That's is actually <laughs> that right there is actually you could say at a minimum. I could oh be wrong God. about it being at a minimum, but you guys could end up going to prison. So uh, let's right now. <laughs> let's get going. We're all, we're not quite done with this article yet, so how, how did we're gonna we're gonna get back to that as well. Don't worry. Um, article Gosh. continues. A source <laughs> added, "quote It was primarily the senior team that left Naughty Dog, and to <laughs> assume that it's because of long working hours is laughable." <laughs> Anybody that has ever worked in game development knows that this is a crock of shit. <laughs> that's what that's what the quote says. I'm not making that up. Since I can remember, development has always been like this. Get to work, chug coffee, and don't leave until you've completed the task that you're assigned for the day. It's part of the fun. It's a part of the lifestyle. What's not fun is working in a toxic environment. End quote. Article continues. The Last of Us Part Two villains are allegedly homophobic Christians, so it is understandable that it would be very difficult for a Christian to work on this game. That's weird, dude. Mm. Anyway, mm. continue. Homophobic Christians. Sony have not yet announced an official release date for The Last of Us Part Two. Will they have now? Um, yeah. The game has been delayed due to COVID nineteen. That's debatable. I don't think that's true. Um, no, they could literally is, just. True, they could literally. It's it not. D Doom Eternal sold exceedingly well, and ninety nine percent of the game sold on digital. So that's not true. Anyway, yeah. um, if you don't mind politically divisive and seemingly very linear games, then we strongly recommend that you do your best to avoid any kind of spoilers, especially the Last of Us Part Two gameplay footage leak. If you don't know what's coming, you will definitely that's be right. shocked. Uh, that's where it ends. Yeah. Too late. We already. Everyone's already pretty much getting the gist of it now. <laughs> there is a lot to unpack here. Oh my there gosh! Is. Yes, there wow. is. Wow. Holy like jail shit! Right now. Somebody needs I to think, go to jail right now. I think the withholding the paychecks part really yeah, somebody, pisses me off. Yeah. Somebody needs to go to jail. Yeah, right big now. time. Oh, you know what? Let's start with that. Let's start with that. Somebody yeah. get that off our right? I want us to get that off our chest right now. Right now. So no drug money. It's like going to fucking jail for that shit. Logan. Like, like Logan, oh go ahead. Yeah, like you just said, Logan. Like Logan <clears throat> just said, you could you could literally, at a minimum, you could end up facing fines or whatever. At a max, at at a moderate level, your company could get shut down. At a maximum level, your company would get shut down, and you'd be sent to prison. And, and that, I'm pretty sure that one right there is the most likely to you happen. You can't legally withhold paychecks just because they're saying you have to Reasons. like sign. These, this agreement and agree to this and that and bite your tongue and all that stuff. Unless, exactly. well, we'll get to this in a second, but unless they're under contract, which is legal, but we'll get to that later because there's another article that goes over that in more detail. But mm -hmm. if you're not under contract, it is very much illegal. Um, wow. Isn't it actually a federal crime? I don't know if it's federal, is it? I don't know. Withholding. I, I don't know. I don't know, but it sounds like it should be. Hey, I'll I'll Google it. Let me Google. Yeah, I was about to say y'all. Please do. I'm already Please do. Let me look this up right now. Yeah, Logan, Logan, Let's look this up right it? now because this will definitely help. Every, everyone, look it up. <laughs> and if it's a <laughs> we have Google at our disposal. Sure that means there's not a statute of limitations Google. to it. To Google. Do, 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 do. I know. I know it's illegal. I don't know on. An employer is not oh. allowed to withhold or fail to pay the salary or wages an employee has earned. Unfortunately, mm. oh. illegal withholding of, of salary and wage theft is a fairly common problem. Ooh. So in other words, it's not federal. It is against federal law. Ooh. Going to state naughty, and naughty, and naughty, naughty, naughty dog. I knew dog. I was onto naughty hey, dog. Where, where? Where's my phone? Naughty I dog. Call 911 Naughty dog. You're gonna get the FBI yeah, on your Might ass. as well call the cops. So, someone call 911 on Neil Druckmann <laughs> right now. <laughs> we, we, we need an uh, investigation on Naughty Dog. There's a. Uh, Can we get Chris Hansen on this? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Chris Hansen. <Hansen. laughs> <laughs> they work for the FBI. Oh. They're gonna be. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Chris Hansen has, leaks, has fucking connections to the FBI. Hey, I'm gonna get Prentice, him on it. Get. Hey, Emily Prentice, get Dr. Spencer Reed and everybody else. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, <laughs> Holy fucking oh, shit. God. That's great. Save us. Oh, Again, man. people, you see why Josh called us idiots at the beginning. <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're all Chris just to get on. On. We're, we're, we're fun idiots. idiots. We're idiots. Within reason. We're idiots we're with fun. passion. We're idiots. We're idiots that take this seriously enough. Right. We love. We love. We love video games. 
It's all that matters. Yeah, love, love we, we love very much games. love video games. I was playing Fable Woo! at first before all this. But anyways, um, what else should we talk about? Because I feel like we uh, kind of got that covered. Let, let's talk a little bit about the uh, this Troy Baker quote that says, go into this ah. game with an open mind. Yes, Josh, that brings me to this. Logan, yeah, I'm sorry, Josh, but Logan, would you please, <clears throat> would you, you know what I was wanting you to mention, right? I hope you can figure Not it out. Not exactly, no. Um, <laughs> you don't it's remember. a little something between Troy Baker and Nolan North. Oh, uh, yeah. oh, I think I know what you're yeah. talking about. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You guys, you guys he, mentioned Logan, this to me. Josh, I, it sent, Josh, since you sound like you know what you're talking about, too, Logan, Josh, if you would please, because I don't really you know guys, the story too well. You guys mentioned you're this to me. And you I, talk I, first. I, I talk first. What's going on, Josh? <laughs> Logan, you can go ahead, because I've been doing lots of talking. Logan, okay. Do, <laughs> if you know more, you can, fi you can fill everything in after. But basically, uh, earlier... Like this month or year, somewhere the somewhere, somewhere the fuck around, this man. happened. Uh, mm -hmm. Troy Baker and Nolan North, N Nolan North, no North, <laughs> no one had <laughs> Nolan North, <laughs> no one no more. <laughs> no one no from Sweden. No one no more. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 Basically, Troy Baker, I'm sorry, don't kill me. <laughs> Basically, Troy Baker and Nolan on. North had a little bit of a falling out. Yeah. I don't know what Which about. Sucks. That's what an understatement. Um, and due to that little falling out, little argument thingy, Troy Baker has now left their joint channel on YouTube called Retro Replay. Right. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure one of the videos they did, which was like, sp uh, sponsored, quote, unquote, sponsored by uh, Watch Mojo, was they went and uh -huh. uh, looked at their previous roles. This being, or The Last of Us being one of them. Mm. Oh boy. Shit, it yeah. just got real, people. It just got real. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so. Actually, it's been real. It's, it's, it's pretty real. It's pretty real right now. It's pretty real. I don't know, I don't know what he's like, what he said about the first game, but I, I, if he said something about the first game that was like, okay, this is going to be like dark and scary and, bo and spooky shitty sort of stuff, it's... and then says this, and says, says to go into this open-minded for this game, it's like... It's a little mm. hypocritical. It's yeah, like, yeah, I, I wouldn't call that bad writing at all. No, not at all. It's not bad you writing. Just have, you just have to go in unclosed-minded in order to realize... Oh, the goodness you goodness. have to think I'm about I'm sorry, it. but... Yeah. I'm sorry, but... I'm sorry, but... Um, not every time is going into something open-minded the way to go. Yeah, Oftentimes it is, it. but there are times when that's such a stupid that. like that's such a stupid uh, argument to make about going into any kind of media. It's like, oh, I'm going to go see the room. I heard it's the worst movie ever made, but you should go into it open minded. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's kind of the thing. If people don't go in, if people don't go into stuff hey, like this with a closed stuff, mind, so. they won't be able to voice their actual opinions. That's the thing. That's a good point. If you go, if you go into it open-minded, then you're more willing to look past all of the plot holes, all of the issues, mm -hmm. everyone's criticisms. You're willing to just ignore all of those. That's a big problem in today's culture. Is people are too accepting of certain things. There needs to come to a certain point where you put your foot down and you say, "This is shit." <laughs> this is, this now, is another terrible. Thing, another thing. Here's one thing I'd like to point out. You're calling us closed-minded. You people are the ones who are not taking... Who are not exactly! Taking to heart. You're the ones being closed-minded. These, the, these are the people attacking us, calling us sexist and stuff. They're the ones being closed-minded. I mean, that's the thing. Yeah. I mean, that's, Josh, you just said that whenever it comes to, like, video games and movies and stuff like that, you should go in closed-minded. But when it comes... But if you're making the stuff, when it comes to the criticism... When it comes to the criticism, and I'm still learning this myself to this day, so I'm... If this sounds ironic, then I'm sorry, but it's like you got to go in open-minded. I've always understood that you got to go into the, to stuff like that open-minded. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to take it to heart. And it could be – and what you're hearing more often than not is for the best. I've always been a believer of you should always be somewhere in the middle of being open and closed, so partially yeah. closed. It should – Especially, especially mm. if it's a sequel to something. This is a sequel to – a game to, to many people that is basically that was, a masterpiece to them yeah right That's so yeah people That's already game. have certain expectations because this is a sequel if you're saying oh be open-minded <laughs> into this that's 
puts people off the wrong way because then they're like, wait, if you want me to be open-minded, then I should just accept whatever crazy change you're going to throw in here. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about that. You yeah, know what I mean? Josh, I'm just... also... Josh, I'm yeah. also going to put this in. Gordon Ramsay, he applies this to his cooking business. You should also, you should apply this to business in general, including the gaming industry. Keep it, pro keep it professional, but not personal, especially when it comes to the criticisms. Right. right. Shout out to Gordon Ramsay. Love it, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> thank you, one man. Thing you, I... you speak a lot to the business. Dude. Shout out to Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> I mean, that's the way business works. You got to keep it professional, but not personal. Otherwise, and. Yeah, and I mean, gaming off. itself, gaming itself can be turned into a business. So you gotta work it. So you gotta look at it the same way. And if you, and, but like, sometimes we take this stuff personally, as well as professionally, because it's like we're the ones buying this. Yeah, we're, we're, playing, the like the we're, this stuff. we're paying like Dude. sixty bucks to play this game for who knows how long. We're, look we're at what happened to Phantom. So I want to talk uh, a little bit about this because this is really interesting to me. So no one really knows why 70% of the staff have left Naughty Dog, like the exact reason why they left. I'm sure there's a multitude of reasons, but I'm sure one of them is because of the quote-unquote toxic environment. Yeah, toxic. Yeah. And this to people, me, people. again, it proves how hypocritical a lot of these people are saying you know be open-minded and stuff and yet at the same time when people force there's certain ideologies and certain politics in, into a game and they basically are like if you don't like it then shut up like that's what seems to be happening with this one at that point it's not you it's do not even professional anymore at that point it's more personal when they it, say it's very personal. exactly they're it's exactly very, very they're, personal. they're making it personal and not professional i mean it's, what i mean are you people saying it's about that what taste we want shouldn't be are you people saying that taste shouldn't be subjective because yeah like close-mindedness like can you imagine because this line or the sentence here from this article is very interesting to me is that mm. the last of us part two villains are allegedly homophobic christians so it'll be very difficult uh. for a christian to work on this game can you guys imagine if let's just say for a moment that you're muslim and you're working on a video game and the villains of the game are homophobic muslims how would you feel i'd be like what I would be like, okay, fuck this, wow. I'm out. Yeah, what, <laughs> right? What, 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 what am I in? What, what, what am I getting myself? What, what is this? What is this? <laughs> so to me, it's just like, um, if it were like, if it had anything to do with agnostics, then I'm pretty sure Logan and I would probably be out. <laughs> you can fuck right off with that paycheck. I'm out. <laughs> I mean, it, it's you're always treading on thin ice whenever you're making a certain demographic the villains of something. That's why I think it works so well for the first game, just having zombies and, you know, just yeah. like shitty what, humans whatever. that didn't really identify with anything. They were just shitty people that were just killing everyone in their path, the villains. Um, but yeah. primarily the zombies, because I'm pretty sure zombies aren't religious. <laughs> no, they're not. So they no, no, up. they are religious. They're relig <laughs> They, they, they bow to the human flesh gods. I guess. Human yeah. Gods. Can't, of cannibalism. They're cannibals. Yeah, they're cannibalists. <laughs> Which, to be fair, these zombies—they technically are cannibals because they're still technically alive and human. They're not actually dead. They're just—they're just very, very, very ugly. They're just. Well, yeah, I mean, they've got fungus growing all over them, so yeah, the ugliest one. They're very, 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 very ugly. <laughs> Especially those damn bloaters. Yeah, we're we're gonna get back to uh, the whole NDA and withholding final paycheck situation here in a bit, but. Oh yes, please. There is. Actually, um, I don't know if I have anything more to say. No, there there will be a lot more, and you're gonna be even more pissed off because I don't think you've heard everything yet. So. Oh dear. Oh, oh, please goodness. continue. This section. Um, and I have a lot to say about this one. This is where we're going to be talking about the creative director of the game, a man called Neil Druckmann. I have a lot oh. to say about this guy because Neil. I think a big reason why this game is failing right now is his fault. I'll explain why. Wait, what's his name? Neil Druckmann. There's oh, no I thought, end. You said Don't worry. I thought you said drug. I thought you said drug <laughs> man, and I was gonna. He probably is. He probably is. <laughs> he probably is. <laughs> 
He's probably on drugs. He's definitely Dr drugs. He's either probably on drugs or he is drunk. If you see, if you oh, say his drunk. name really fast, he's drug. He's drug if you say his name really fast, it sounds like that. Neil Drugman. <laughs> Drug, 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 drug. You know, drug, I, drug, I, yeah, I'm gonna go on a limb and assume that I'm gonna go on a limb and assume that his friends and family, like his personal friends and family, call him that all the time. You know what? We're Probably officially from here on out. His name is gonna be Neil Drunk Man. All right, Drunk Neil Man. Neil Drunk Man. Mr. Mr. Right, drunk man. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Drunk well, Man. Well, Josh, you're drinking whiskey, so I'm not drunk yet, but well, yeah, <laughs> he's yeah, still so he's hanging in there. Hang on there. At the end of yeah, this, well, I'm gonna be probably, shit faced. You probably wanna get hit. He sure hopes he was right now. So, Mr. Yeah. Mr. So Josh, Drunk as you were man. saying. So, this next <clears throat> article, you know, we're gonna dive into the creative director a little bit, and I think this is the main reason why the game's failing is because <clears throat> of him. So, <clears throat> this article says The Last of Us 2 leak leaves director heartbroken. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, 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 I'm so sad my shitty game is not gonna be sold well now. I can't take this. This is you have to cry like a little bitch. Oh, it's a baby, what's his job? Oh, my game where people have to go in open minded and been really and, and this guy is. We're gonna read some comments too after the article because he just gets destroyed in the comments of this article. Oh, I can't wait. To, I can't wait to hear this. Oh, boy. So, this, the article says. By now, you'll no doubt be aware that extremely sensitive material from anticipated exclusive The Last of Us Part 2 is leaked online. While the title has received a new release date today, and I know why, I'll explain that too in a second, the news has been overshadowed by the tidal wave of spoilers being shared on social media. It's made, in, in, mm. it's made interacting with the release almost impossible. Nevertheless... <laughs> Crush director Neil Drunkman took to Twitter to share a short message with fans. Heartbroken for the team. Heartbroken for us. We're still incredibly ex Wait, we're no, still incredibly we excited to get the game into here's your hands. Because oh, you got some I, I'm just now I, I, w I decided to go all the way back up to the to our Last of Us 2 spoiler talk and messenger. Yeah, I now remember that's the dude who, whose picture on the Wikipedia has the rapist face. So we'll call him Rapist. Uh. Oh, God. Works for me. Not saying he's raped anyone! Rapey drunk man. Rapey and drunk man. He raped the production of this game. I'm not saying he's raped anyone, but I'm just saying... He yeah, raped the characters, that's what he did. We all get 16% off of Yo, all future games. Anthony, if I was there with you, I'd give you a high five right now. That was... That was Wait, what did good. you say? He <laughs> raped the production of this game. He, he, he essentially <laughs> did at this point. I, I was like, that was... Here, imaginary high five, here we go. Alright, there you go. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Oh, wait, Congrats yeah, on being Anthony, the loneliest person here. Just high five yourself. In the chat. <laughs> we all five. He might as well have raped the development of this game. <laughs> Nevertheless, Crush director Neil Rapist took the Twitter to share a short message with fans. <laughs> We're gonna get so much backlash. <laughs> but we'll take it. I don't give a fuck. Because this game is gonna suck. Exactly. Yeah, and 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 whenever there's a quote yeah. by him, I'm gonna talk this way. So just deal with it. Please do, <laughs> boy. Heartbroken we'll for the to... team. Heartbroken for our fans. We're still incredibly excited to get the game into your hands. Naughty Dog <laughs> shared a similarly brief statement, urging its followers to not spoil the release for others. No matter what you Delayed. see and hear, the final experience will be worth it. <laughs> He sounds like a serial rapist now. He definitely sounds like Of course, that hasn't stopped many from already drawing conclusions from the out-of-context scenes. The good news How is that the title, at least, has a release date now, June 19th. It was originally down in February, before being pushed back to May. Let's hope there are no more leaks as we march closer to the title summer launch date. Ooh, this article did not age well. Ugh, not at all. Okay, so, it must be really extremely sensitive material <clears throat> if the fucking creator's yeah, crying about it on fucking Twitter. Yeah. And if how you're... out of context are the scenes that we got? Exactly. I mean, if they, I mean, if they brought up like big time plot points for the game, how out of context could they be? It doesn't sound like they're out of context at all. This, oh yeah, I gotta read some of these comments. Full, using full sarcasm, this article will most definitely age well. <laughs> when the game's released. Using full totally. non-sarcasm, these people this, are trying this to defend- well These people are trying to defend themselves when they should clearly be defenseless. 
Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, jeez. You got nothing. Well, if the work culture was normal, this would not have happened. Jason Schreier had reported on the toxic workplace multiple times. That and the story is just dumpster fire. If the story was any good, the outrage and damage control would not have happened. It's definitely, it's definitely gonna be put the dumpster here. It's exactly, dumpster fire. It's Can I just say to you that um, Endgame, Avengers Endgame, uh, was spoiled for me, but. I wasn't angry because I liked the story and then I watched the movie and I still love the movie. If your story is good, if if the story is good, got me too. Yeah. People are going to go out and support it. If your story sucks, yeah. people are not going to support it. It's as simple as that. Oh no, there'll be people supporting it. It's just they'll be few and far between. Yeah, some will probably And they be probably next, won't and and but... for all we know at least a couple of them probably won't be supporting it like necessarily voluntarily. Uh... That's that's just me making a joke. I'm sorry people. <laughs> <laughs> but either but either way, you get what we're saying. You get what we're saying. It's like if it's if it's good, we'll support it. If it's if it's good, the populace will support it. If it's bad, the populace won't support it. That's how it works. That's how life works. Okay, this comment I just read is about to make me angry because it sounds uh, like oh, I was born in this please game. Read it. Please he's read he's it. looking at the comments, or he's like, "Oh no!" It's it's on. Hold, let me find it. It was on Instagram. Oh yeah, someone <laughs> said on Instagram it was about the release of the game. Said Last of Us isn't a happy game. What the fuck were y'all expecting? A unicorn shooting rainbow from its arse? Last of Us is a dark game that's rated mature. I'm here for the roller coaster dark story they're going with. It's going to be a tough pill to swallow, but I'd rather cry, cry while playing the game than a smile on face. And Apocalypse is no joke and shit happens. Okay, so, so let me say something well, about that. Well, Apocalypse is Let me say something. No, time out. Leads. Time out. Time out. Let me say something about the comment. What exactly is so happy about a unicorn? That's disgusting. <laughs> That sounds pretty disturbing. <laughs> it's completely disturbing. That's not something we want to see. If it was if really, that no. looks like if I got sounds like this more. person didn't play the first game. Is what it sounds like. This guy's like. Exactly. sounds like this guy's sounds like that guy's actually drunk. It sounds drugs. like it sounds like they've been <laughs> that man's on drugs. It sounds like <laughs> it sounds like their version of zombie games are lollipop chainsaw. <laughs> like what is this? Dead Rising. <laughs> Dead Rising's good, man. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Dead Rising's good, I'm just saying. The yeah, first couple, the first few games, anyways. Uh, like, it's like, we're talking Dead before Rising? Dead Rising 3. Ugh, what an incredibly idiotic, naive, just plain fucking stupid comment. Like, we're yeah, all aware this is a like, dark story. Like, we're all aware of that. We're not idiots, and we're not aware yeah, this is yeah. supposed to be all happy. We understand yeah. that. However, you can make a... I don't think what you're understanding is... You can make a story depressing and good... The problem is, I think this that, story I think is depressing and so, shit. I think yeah. I think that person was trying to be so open-minded that they that they. I think that person was trying to be so open-minded that they were actually being closed-minded. And and like I said earlier, like I'm fine with Joel dying yeah, I, as long as it's executed well and it has to make sense. At the right moment. This doesn't make yeah, sense. Yeah. Yeah. I. I... <clears throat> Like the dude, dude, the very like, there's facts out there that disprove your argument. The very fact that seventy yep. percent of the team left because of this game, seventy percent with the seventy percent, seventy percent of this team left because of this game. So, Mm-mm. if you're still not convinced, that should definitely turn you away from this. Like, yeah. How how can you support a company where the executives withhold the final paychecks from their employees? What well, how and can now you support that? Of them are all just gone now. Exactly. What what what, what, what what's the law? I mean, yeah, that's a... withholding your employees' last paycheck. Which again, as we state, uh... is a federal crime. Yes. <laughs> Like, I'm totally fine. Like, I really like dark stories. I like them a lot more than lighthearted stories because dark stories, they tend to be more relatable, in my opinion. We're able to... More realistic. More realistic. We grow really close to the characters. Lighthearted stuff, you don't really have to take too seriously. You don't have to be too worried about what's going to happen to the characters and stuff because you know they'll all be fine. That's why I like darker stories more. And... 
I'm not a huge fan of happy endings either. I like bittersweet endings where there's some sad things, there's some good things, but it's kind of mixed. Like with The Last of Us Part like, 1. With The Last or, of Us Part like 1. A, my reaction... Like my reaction when... Um, the, my reaction when the first Last of Us game ended, it wasn't, oh, that was so nice, that was so peaceful, and oh, I feel so good inside. My reaction was, wow. That's it. <laughs> or, 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 That's it. Wow. Put in another example. Gears wow. of War 3. Like, the ending was just freaking bittersweet. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, that, that, do you yeah. necessarily feel like you I won? Agree. Sure, you sure you saved the world and everything, but do you feel like you won? I mean, Marcus, he lost he lost his best friend, who fucking sacrificed himself. That part of the game freaking almost made me cry, by the way, last time I played it. <laughs> it I almost it, it cried, goes, and no game has ever done that to me before. It goes with the line that Marcus said at the very end, where, where Anya says, or something well, Exactly, he said, what, what, if do we we got, got what, if we, yeah. what do we have left now, Anya? Yeah. And, then, of course and she, she says, said, a tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah. It's I'm very like, bittersweet. That's pretty bittersweet right there. That's kind of bittersweet. Yeah, it's very mm -hmm. bittersweet. Kind of makes me wish that's where the franchise ended, but that's another video. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Although um, I hear the next games did well, but that's besides the point. We're talking yeah. about The Last of Us. Mm -hmm. But yeah, well, let, let's curious. get back to Mr. Uh, Neil Rapist here. To, uh, We're just giving examples to, uh, of bittersweet endings. But yeah, yeah let's get back to Neil. Let's get back to Neil Drew. Drew Rapist. <laughs> Neil Drew. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. We had to sorry, um, uh, just drunk say, man. Sorry, I just drink saying drink a guy. Just, 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 just saying a guy's name that just saying a dude's name <laughs> that that sound, that looks the way he does. It makes me want to puke. I, I so, thank man. I find it funny how uh, if you look up this guy's uh, wiki article, there's an entire section about him just called views, as if that's some mm. kind of really relevant thing. But I think this really, really drives yeah, home. Yeah, I'm reading it right now. This really drives home the whole like situation. So, mm. so rapist is a regular advocate of gender equality in video games, citing Anita Sarkeesian as the influence. What the fuck? Who the fuck I, is that? Was that English? I don't even. <laughs> is that a person? It's a feminist and public speaker. You guys don't know who you guys don't know who Anita Sarkeesian is. I have no idea. That's surprising. Um, oh well. But it's a good thing that we don't know. I mean, is it a good thing we don't? Yes and no. I mean, you should be aware, but at the same time, as soon as you know more about her, you'll be really pissed off. Um, well then, okay. she constantly like attacks. Uh, video games. She's a very, very hardcore feminist with very radical views. That's that's just 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 her name alone should piss you off. So again, <laughs> <laughs> I, I literally didn't understand what you said. I'm like, what was that English? So, Anita Sarkeesian is a um, influence to the creative director of The Last of Us Two. Again, just keep uh, that in mind. Why don't we call it? It gets Sarkeesian. worse. He presented the Ambassador Award to Sarkeesian at the 2014 Game Developers Choice Awards and regularly advocated her projects. Mm. There's, there's something mm. going on here. Throughout the development of Uncharted 4, Rapist was influenced by a concept artist, Ashley... I'm not going to try to pronounce their last name. To Swidowski. Swidowski. To oh. include more female characters in the game. That's fine, but what That's does that have cool. to do with anything? Yeah. Um, she is constantly... Or, no, I'm sorry. <clears throat> she is constantly challenging me and pushing for <laughs> diversity in our cast, he said. <laughs> Upon focus tester's criticism regarding the inclusion and portrayal of female characters in Uncharted 4... What the fuck are you talking about? Uncharted 4 had great female characters. Yeah, what are you talking about? That was a great game. Granted, I haven't played it yet, but I... Moving on. I haven't played um, it or seen any videos, but I did hear it did really damn well. It was, yeah, phenomenal game. Looks awesome. Uh, Looks one great. of whom was forced to leave due to an outburst. Rapist expressed, Wow, why does wow, that matter? Why does that matter? <laughs> just, <laughs> what? <laughs> you, got, you guys just... We, I, had to, I had to, Josh. You had to look it up. I, I was just clicked on it. I was on that spot right where you, you were saying that. So I, I had to read, say wow, it. Wow, why does it matter? Similarly, <laughs> Ellie of The Last of Us was initially received negatively in early focus tests. 
Rapist is proud that Ellie is a strong, non-sexualized female lead character and hoped that other developers would take similar approaches to characters without fear of unpopularity. Rapist and Streely were surprised by some of the backlash in regards to the generals in The Last of Us. Who the hell was against that? Who said that? Who said that? No one. I have no idea. But although although Rapist noted that the more progress we make, the more, the more those problems stand out. He declared it a misconception that female protagonists hinder game sales. Who the fuck <laughs> says that? Evidence Ooh, who, by the success what? of The Last of Us. Of the Last of Us. I mean, wait. How does that evidence anything? No one I mean, ever. Does it. No one has ever Look at won the two Raider games. Two Raider <laughs> games. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let's do a simple Google search. That's a misconception. Look at all the fucking Tomb Raider games hold on, there are. Hold on, hold on. How There's is your voice on. not hurting you right now, Logan? I can hear your voice cracking. <laughs> you got used to that? <laughs> yeah, I have. Yeah, all right. Like through a uh, through a simple Google search, um, Thank you, video. Google. Some of the best video, some of the best-selling video games of female protagonists. <clears throat> Resident Evil 2, Silent Hill 3, Mirror's Edge, Bright Memory, Half-Life Alyx, Resident Evil 3, Assassin's Creed Syndicate, The Walking Dead, Metroid franchise. I could go on and on and on and on. Do you get my point, dude? You have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Clear, clearly, you were just so drunk and drugged. You're just... Obviously, The Last of Us was not like the fucking... The <clears throat> golf ball and the fucking hole-in-one thing. That's why I was like, hey... The, the misconception of female protagonists hindering game sales is, is, is false. Bayonetta, Alien Isolation, well, Child of Light, Hellblade, Sinua Sacrifice, Bayonetta. Horizon Zero Dawn. Dude, what are you so talking about? With female... If you have a good game, Recor. Somebody's Recor, game. yeah. I think when he's getting... Somebody games. Yeah, but honestly, honestly, I feel like Bayonetta might not have been that great of an example. Hey, hey, I think it is. No, because it. hey, hey, you hey. You knew listen, what you were getting. Listen, Bayonetta. Bayonetta. Bayonetta can be. Oh, no. She can be a bit sexualized. He's looking at non-sexualized characters. I'm like, well, fuck you. Well, fuck you. We like Bayonetta. It's you a fun game. You up for when you play Bayonetta. It, I've never played it before, but I, I like it. Videos for it. Yeah, I love it's it. fun. People love the game. And I don't. Awesome. I mean, yeah, she and has. She has a nice body, but the game's fun. That's the main thing I heard about. It's fun. She made yeah. one little comment about making babies, and that was sold it for me. Okay. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. Logan. Logan. Right. 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 Uh, uh, you weren't lying when you said it was going to get juicy. <laughs> <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> racy, racy. Uh, we, are, we are very sorry. <laughs> no, okay, I was about to say, it's getting hot in here, but it's literally, it's literally getting hot in my room, dude. I'm not kidding. It's literally getting hot in my room. I'm starting to freaking sweat. I'm not kidding. It's not good. I have a fucking oh bedside God. fan on blowing at me. My ceiling fan is on, and it's still getting hot in here. Uh, my hands are sweating uh, from holding the damn controller. I don't know why I'm I'm It's getting hot in here, so take off all okay, your clothes. No, <laughs> Not copyrighted. <laughs> Did I was about to say something after fucking uh, Anthony said uh, it's getting hot in here. He's like, <laughs> so take off all your clothes. <laughs> okay, do we have anything else we want to discuss? Oh god. All right. Yeah. Does Back doesn't the, just this topic. isn't the whole fact Ooh. that there's an entire section about Mr. Rapist that <laughs> it's just about that's, his views. Mr. Drunk Man, by the way. It's just about his views. Like, oh, Josh, the what is? Women Why does that matter? The entire women protagonist, the entire female protagonist saying, "Did you mention Metroid? You know, Samus Aran or however you pronounce her name?" Yeah. Yeah. Another good one. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, dude, that's the thing. That's dude, the thing. Like, I feel like oftentimes these people they don't actually research this stuff beforehand. Mm. Whereas it's we just gamers, like they assume they know our everything. opinion actually does yeah. matter because we. Because rather be through playing the games or looking at YouTube videos or whatever, we end or reading about the stuff, right? Even if it's on Wikipedia, which is which could be considered false. Still, I'd like to think we tend to do quite a bit of research. 
Like, dude, the yeah. fact that, like, you think there's there's so many things wrong with some with what he's saying that the fact that he thinks that female leads hinder game sales is so laughably false. And the fact that you it also, is. like, cite Anita Sarkeesian as an influence in your games, like, that destroys all credibility you have. Like, she is one of the... Anitas, we're gonna call her Anita Sarkeesian. Like, <laughs> she is one of the, like, worst influencers you could possibly have for your games she literally has no idea how the gaming industry actually works she thinks like every single game like the goal of the game is to like rape and maim women that's not at all that's not true. even remotely true, like especially since she, a lot of games don't have that at all she was complaining that like the main goal of Grand Theft Auto V, for example, because, you know, well, that's, that's the lowest hanging fruit. No, no, no. The main goal, the main goal of the game is to rape and maim women. Even, I, though, I'm, even yeah. though I'm pretty sure... Let, let me guys ask you a question. Most, if not, Did she pay for a prostitute? <laughs> she probably got ripped off. I'd like to point off. out rather <laughs> I'd like to point out, rather you're paying for the sex, or you actually, rather you're paying for the sex, or you actually turn the woman on to where she'd want to bet, to where she'd want to get banged out by you. It's consensual Wait. either way. I, yeah, exactly. I, th this is just completely going off Legally, the rails. Legally, it's consensual. <laughs> this, this whole thing's going off the rails. Like, what else did you expect, <laughs> Nightmare? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm yeah. pretty sure. Nightmare, it's us. What do you expect? It, 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 you it, especially exactly. me and Logan. You hang out with us enough. Yeah. Actually, we haven't hung out in quite a while. It's been a while. Okay, hold on. There's there, there's more to uh, our friend here, Mr. Drunk Man. Um, Mr. Rapist Drunk Man. <clears throat> does it have anything else to do with Sarcheesian? No, but it has it to do with his Sarcheesian. dumb beliefs. So he says, th this article says here, uh, Drunk Man is Jewish, although found he regularly writes about white, straight, Christian male characters, encouraging mm. him to instead create more <laughs> diverse characters. <laughs> what do you hold on? What games what? has he worked on? How Let's the see fuck here. Does that work? Let's see here. What um, what I, I games know, has he worked on? Let's see. So he's worked on Jack Three, Jack X, Uncharted, um, What Remains of Edith Finch. Okay. Where I I've played the Jack games, all of them. I've also played mm. all of the Uncharted games. I don't think it's once mentioned what their religious beliefs are. Nope. So what the fuck are you talking about, dude? Especially since games like those are have no place for religious beliefs. No. What what and the yeah, fuck are you talking about? And the Last like, of Us is, and the Last weeks? of Us, given the given given the way the Last of Us works, it's definitely no place for religion. <laughs> yeah. There is no religion left. In I mean, world. to be fair, I mean to be fair, Zombie if you're living in, a, I mean, to be fair, if you're living. In, You'd actually expect, to be fair, if you're living in, like, a zombie apocalypse-ridden world, you are you kind of expect religion to be thrown out the window. Of course, it's yeah. still going to be religion, but it's going to be few and far between. It's going to be as if, like, God doesn't exist anymore. Exactly. It's survival of the fittest. Well, my, exactly. my main it's, point it's is, survival. What, what does the religion have to do with the game? What does it have to do with the plot? Right. What does it have to do with the story? The mood? You know, like there are some uh, games uh, where it, it tackles those things. Like even some games have like a in-world religion. Like the game creates their own religion. Like for example, um, Assassin's Creed. They sort of have this religion within the creed that you know everything is permitted. For example, nothing is true. Everything is permitted. That's very much a like religious type of outlook on it. But or Grand Theft Auto, <laughs> Even though that's like that was that, that was very Colts. optional, yeah. Colts. Um, it Grand was Thought optional, but game. it was optional. But like it had, but like Grand Theft Auto has been known to have a religion here and there. Like I, real. I find the idea of having um, like people in a cult as villains interesting. I'm totally open to that. But the fact that they have to express that. That there were certain homophobic, homophobic Christians. Christians. Yeah. Right. It's just like yeah. I've never heard of such a thing. I've never ever heard of that either. Life. I don't think I've ever heard of that. I don't think I mean, I'm, and I mean, I'm sorry, even if and I mean I'm sorry, even if they are like homophobic Christians, does that I, I get that it's the end of the world, but does that necessarily mean that they can just go around trying to kill people like that? 
And what are the it, doesn't that go against? Doesn't like that, that go? That doesn't that go against the beliefs alone? I feel like. Exactly. I mean, it, they're like the they're very they're very hypocritical of their own religion. <laughs> they're very exactly. Much I mean, here's the then. thing. Here's the thing. More, more morality wise, even if it's even if it is something, <laughs> even if it is like you could say homosexuality is bad, but if you go around just killing people because they're homosexual, that in and of itself is bad. Yeah, I'm. I don't. I've never heard of Christians mm. going around killing homosexuals. Because so, they're gay, it's like if a Christian's I, gonna kill someone, it'd be better off if it's, if it's actually out of self defense or something like that. Because then it's justified. If it's just because of their own beliefs, then yeah, that's fucked. I'm up. sorry, it's unjustified. Yeah, that, that's there very is the trend of other need... Christians like not liking the LGBTQ community. Hence the phrase "God hates fa God hates fags." That's that, that that's a trend like here and there, but mm. to, to have please the main villains please no, people, focus anybody on. Offend I, we probably already used plenty of words people are offended by, but anybody watching this that, is a, that are offended by that word, please note he wasn't using it in a personal matter. We're just trying to explain. We're, we're, we're that's not to explain to how, it. like, yeah, we're trying to explain how that, like, yeah, we're just trying to explain people a little bit, are, give you, yeah, give you make a point. Yeah, so that's, we're not that's... trying to offend or anyone, we're just trying to... Make some points here to explain. That's neither uh, that are going on with this that's, game. That's, that's neither, neither here. There. Yeah, that's neither here or there. Like I said, my yeah. point is, like, what does this has have to do with the context of the story that we have being in a zombie apocalypse? Why? Why does that? That's happen? my issue. Why does it have to do with anything? Of the fact that Ellie right. is, is that Ellie is probably the only person that's, in the world that can actually give a that can actually produce a cure because because that, that's my biggest immunity. question is why does that matter? That's my question. Right. That's another thing. Wait, that reminds me. What I just said right there. Why throw out the idea of like maybe, maybe the world getting a second chance at a cure using using Ellie's immunity to the cordyceps brain infection? Why throw that out the window and just and just possibly kill her or whatever? Why do that? Yeah. Oh gosh, you know what I just realized. Why you like the only fucking cure. Yeah, you know what I just realized? Supposedly, supposedly the only cure, yeah. The fact that, like, the game is centered around people trying to kill Ellie is such a plot hole. Like, can't she just show everyone her bite mark and be like, look, I'm not infected, and if you don't believe uh... me, put me put me in isolation and I won't turn. I'm, I'm immune. <clears throat> like, the yeah. fact that people are trying to kill her is a plot hole. And it kind of doesn't make sense I mean, in its own. I mean, I know... I mean, you could say they don't—they don't know about her thing, but I mean, like you said, she could just show them. Like, hey, well, yo, I mean, to be fair, uh, um, most people wouldn't you know, know about it. Yeah, not everyone. But probably still, it's but still, it's like, and they she probably could just think prove like, it to them. And, and they probably think like, say they have a restraint or something, and then they see the bite, they probably think like, that's that's probably recent. Let's kill her. But yeah, I we mean, gotta kill her. She's in the end. Turn. But I mean, in so, the end, I imagine like Abby was probably well aware of like Ellie being immune. Oh yeah, because she. Would so have why kill? So even if it is, so even if it is for revenge of her killing your people, why try and get revenge in the first place when in reality? <laughs> yeah, well, like if you're. Chance to yeah, the world. Abby is the daughter. Know. Abby is the daughter of one of the fireflies. Why wouldn't yeah. you do whatever it takes to ensure Ellie's survival to continue your parents' work? Especially yeah. considering the mm -hmm. fact that Ellie had literally nothing to do with. Ellie more or less had nothing to do with their deaths. Aside right. From the fact that, aside from the fact that Dole saw her, saw her as a daughter and just wanted to save yeah. her from getting killed, because producing the cure would have killed her. Oh yeah. gosh, I feel like we could write a much better story than the actual people that created the story. It's <laughs> so know, ridiculous. Right? Wow! Wow! Let's wow. Okay, let's go take over Naughty Dog right now. <laughs> Yo, yeah, no, yeah. Let's go do it. <laughs> Let's go. Naughty Dog, we're coming for you. And the difference we'll is, we won't withhold paychecks. We'll do this last kidding. of a style. And we won't yeah, be We sick. won't withhold paychecks. <laughs> no, we won't. <laughs> we won't. We'll but become we, the of this juggernaut we'll be... of a company, and we will actually. And for that, we'll, 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 pay our we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll be pay, fair. We'll increase their pay. We'll be, we'll be fair. Speaking of their pay, I have one last article to go over, which dives into the pay dispute situation a little bit deeper. Mm. So this is supposedly the main reason revealed why the disgruntled employee leaked <laughs> The Last of Us 2. So this person on Reddit says, everyone, please read and repost this on Reddit and Twitter. A source uh, that works. There's some typos in this. I'm trying to correct it as I read. Uh, a source that works at Naughty Dog revealed recently why the leaks happened. The reason was indeed a pay dispute, but that is not the whole story. 
hundreds of furloughed staff had approached Naughty Dog to ask for an advance of the post-release bonus they are contractually obligated to receive. A common industry practice is to underpay workers during production and promise them huge bonus six months after the game's release. The better the game sells, the better the, the higher the bonus. Uh, some employees had already made plans for this bonus, such as planning a wedding, buying a house, sending kids to college, etc. Damn, that's a really good bonus. Holy shit. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, that is so indeed a very good bonus. When, so when the game was delayed indefinitely, all of those plans went out the window. Some employees were hoping to use their bonus to weather the coronavirus storm and provide for their families. Naughty Dog mm. flat out refused the request to advance them even a portion of their future bonus. The insider says the employee that the employee was told that his contract stated he would be paid out six months after the game released, or not at all. The employee was threatened with termination for making the request. Wow. The studio was worried more employees would demand their bonuses now if they gave this one employee his bonus early. To add insult to injury, senior staff, including Neil Drunkman, asked and received their bonuses early. This pissed off the majority of employees at Naughty Dog. Holy shit. Mm -mm. We're, we're so mm -mm, place. Mm -mm, Justice, mm -mm. We, got, we got all right. We gotta make friends. Friends right now. We are. Yeah, we need to make it. All right, we're, 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 we're invading. Boys. We're invading. We're, we're, totally we're gonna chow right pawn this shit. We're <laughs> invading. Article continues. The leaks oh were a way God. of forcing so the cool studio. So the, the leaks were a way of forcing the studio to release the game sooner than later. That's the point I was going to bring up earlier. Is the reason why we have a release date now on June nineteenth is because the leaks came out. It forced Naughty Dog's hands. Mm. Um, the leaker is risking career and financial ruin so that his fellow abused workers can get their piece of the pie a lot sooner. Wow. Damn. Um, so studio. Words, one for the team, and rightfully so. Yeah, studio rumor put the expected release Respect. date around the holidays before the leaks. This means that the staff wouldn't receive their bonuses until May 2021. Mm -mm. <laughs> no. I'm just suing. Is that would, against what? their contract? May 2021. Holy. F Fuck. He has to wait nah, until next year? I would, I would year? probably get the best lawyer. Uh, possible. Chris Hansen, can you get the fuck on here? Chris Hansen. Chris Hansen. Chris Hansen. I am <laughs> speechless. Anthony, Anthony, I feel like you wouldn't even need the best lawyers possible unless you were Naughty Dog, unless you were Naughty Dog themselves. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. So no, 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 no. Like wait until mm -mm. next year? Mm-mm-mm-mm. Mm -mm. What? That already goes against our contracts. Yeah. Oh my god. They and broke the contract. Illegal. It's illegal to break a contract like that, so... Oh my god. Seriously, someone Are needs to call the police me? on these guys. I'm not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> The yeah, the executives let's fucking do this so, shit. The executives got their bonuses out. before the employees? Like, now that should be the other way around. What kind of fucked the up shit is that? Or should be Somebody's... getting a higher paycheck, but they the employees should be getting the bonus first. Holy Somebody shit. Needs exactly. Somebody exactly. needs to get arrested right now. I'm... Exactly. I mean Seriously? I'm certain I mean I'm certain oh even gosh. a low ranking person in a video game company is that actually helps with the game is actually making pretty good money, but compared to but compared to people above his pay grade, they're making dog food. They're making fucking <laughs> peanuts. They should be getting the bonus. I love this comment. What an absolute clusterfuck. It's sad and infuriating. <laughs> I'm sad that such a cool apocalyptic premise has been ruined. I'm sad that these developers are exploited and suffering. I'm infuriated to say that these shitty woke senior staffers are greedy and out of touch with the world. They don't practice what they preach. They just parrot a flawed Ooh. ideology, piss people off, and abuse those working for them. Yo, hey, man, do Couldn't have been any know. more true. And again, words, we're so. talking about Naughty Dog here. You wouldn't expect, you wouldn't actually expect this from them. Because again, they're they're like top, they're like one of the top tier video game makers. They were, today. they uh, were. Last were. was two. They're definitely not going to be. Not anymore. <laughs> no, I no, they're definitely not. No, they're definitely losing customers right now as we speak. 
They're not going to be. After I'd say, season. yeah, I'd say it's since seven. like October or so, whenever it was, when seventy percent of the staff left, Naughty Dog was done. It, 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 but it happens to a lot of games, and they're companies, still man, defending themselves. They sucks, do realize they're just. But... They do realize that unless they that they do realize that unless they humble up and admit they're wrong, they're gonna drive themselves to bankruptcy. Yeah, right? they're they're not yeah. keeping it professional at this point. They're keep they're making it more and more personal by the day. Like right. the more they make more up, about they, they they try to make up more and more excuses for all these complaints and stuff. They, and they're they saying make it about them and what they want and mm -mm -mm. an excuse here and they there take, they is, take what is, they all want. Well, is all well and good i mean well not good but still whenever we're talking about stuff on this level it's fully fully unacceptable they they take mm -mm. what they want and give nothing back that's ba that's basically the gist of it here man oh, lord get and we take it away <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine working in an Straight environment up. like holy fuck man i i i, mm -hmm. I don't i I would that would be the most miserable job in ever. I just want to take a baseball bat and just smash fucking... up the executive's desk. <laughs> yeah, put, God, dude, Lucille, fucking... I, where's my Lucille? It's... I would have honestly like called the police or something because like. Well, yeah, I was saying like. We I'm, gonna pull, I'm gonna pull that one scene from fucking Chanel Compton where Ice Cube just beats the shit out of that guy's office. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go invent the lance. I'm gonna go invent the Mark II lancer from Gears of War. Go to the Naughty Dog and start chainsawing people. Yo, and shoot okay, them. Okay, we're chaining chaining it up, man. Chainsaw yeah, doors. Just, I just want to smash it. You legit want to saw people in half. Uh, I do. I'm so, pissed. again, I. Uh, I don't condone the idea of leaking things, but given everything oh, yeah. we just read, yeah. honest question, do you guys think that this developer that leaked this footage is in the wrong? No. Absolutely well, not. Nah, he is not in the wrong at all. He's he telling everybody a favor. He's telling the truth that we should know. With, with everything Instead, that has been thrown on the like laid out on that ta on the table for us, everything we've been given. In fact, you know what? I'd you know I'd say he even get. In yeah. fact, you know what? The people that told him that the people that are saying that he's risking his job and everything, like the the people that are his bosses and everything, I'd say he's doing them a favor too because this is giving them a chance to humble the fuck up, which they I are not taking. Hey, What's the problem? You know that's said, fuck it. Might as well. That's an incredibly noble thing to do. Is if you're in a I, type uh, of position and you're like, you know what? I will, I will take the beating. I will take the career and financial ruin if it means all of my fellow employees can get their damn paychecks. Yeah, like, I, it, that's very it's, noble. Oh yeah, like, it is. Yeah, with, it's, this is a dude that clearly out, man, cares more about his fellow employees than him. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's uh, very, very selfless. They're gonna be eternally <laughs> grateful to him. Yeah, they're you're like, yeah. oh, thank you so if much. I, if, I were, if I were in those people's position, I would I would just want to repay that guy right then Worship and there. Worship him. Yeah. Yeah. Laid yeah, up. Laid up. I mean, everything laid out on the table for us, man. I don't think he's in the wrong at all. You know what really pisses me off, really? too, is uh, I normally don't watch these types of videos from Angry Joe because I think they're very uninformed when it comes to this type of stuff. But um, I'll link you guys the video if you haven't seen it yet. But... Angry Joe made a video. Joe, so. I don't watch him as I'm much anymore, him. but yeah. I was very yeah, interested to see what he had to say about this type of situation. And mm -hmm. they were talking about the whole Last of Us being leaked and stuff without even knowing anything about the context. They were talking about this in one of the Angry Joe uh, news videos, which I never watched, but again, I was interested to see what they had to say. Mm -hmm. Angry Joe, as soon as he heard, like, all, all he heard was. Uh, someone leaked the Last of Us 2 plot. Without asking any questions, he was like, yeah, sue that leaker into the ground. Ruin him. Without really knowing you, anything else. Yeah, I was about to say, why don't you look into it first before you say something like that? Do you yeah. think he ever looked into I'm telling you, they just, into he probably shit, voted for Bernie. Like, never, and then he was like, never mind, I'm on your side, leaker. Yeah, he probably did. And he's like, oh, he's like you probably voted for Bernie. Bernie. I can admit you know, I'm if anything I'm else... I can admit when I'm wrong. I'm really curious to see uh, what his angry review of this game is going to be. Oh man, I, you, can only, <laughs> you know what? I just you imagine, imagine. he's, he's going to do the angry review, imagine. and it's going to be like once, and it's going to be like five seconds long. He's going to be like, "Leaker, I retract what I said. I retract what I said recently. <laughs> no, 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 you no, needing no, to be sued, Leaker. You, you have my respect. No. I'll go fuck off." No, no, you know what he's going to say? This is all he's going to say. You done fucked it up. <laughs> That's it. That's the end of the video. That's yeah, the end he's of the video. like, "That's it." No, he's like this, Naughty Dog. You done fucked up! 
Yeah, or whatever. Close enough. That would be the end of the video, right? There. I don't know that what the it. fuck he'd say. I've I I've only seen I've only seen a video of him once and that was when I was hanging out with Josh. That would be mm -hmm. it. Just, you done fucked it up. That's it. Naughty 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 dog. Mm mm mm. Very, very naughty. And not in a good way, either. So only thing I have left to say is Now you're <laughs> he, he already got it. <laughs> you guys got it. Only thing I have left to say is Again, if way. if you're still interested in getting this game, that's entirely up to you. It's your money. You do you. Uh, I just hope that this yeah, video that. at least gave you some perspective as Inside. to why people were pissed off. And yeah. hopefully makes you understand that we're not just mindless haters. We love this franchise. We love these characters. The reason why we're angry... We the reason company. why... The reason why I'm even making this good. video is because we care, because we like it. That's the problem yeah. that we have, is we feel like it's being destroyed. So, yeah, same I mean, issue. That, it's the same I mean, thing with the last shit I did. It's we nothing did. necessarily that personal against even the company, because I grew up playing like Crash Bandicoot and stuff like that. I grew up playing same. games from Naughty Dog. Yeah, we we happy. love Naughty Dog. That's the that's another big reason why we're pissed off is we're just I mean, stunned I mean, the that they would do something and like that's this. The thing it's it's games yeah. like Uncharted, Crash Bandicoot, stuff like that that made them into what they that made them into what they are and or what they were until recently. Yeah, they're great at storytelling. <sighs> they're great with characters. They're they're really they're damn good at what they do. But they're just fucking things up now. They're turning into like other companies. They're, they're, Other modern day companies it, with it, beliefs that are deemed you know, necessary in today's culture. Or I mean, whatever. Josh, you would agree with what we just said, there, right? Hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. Any of you, was... any of you out there that, any of you out there that agree with that agree with us on that, comment down below, please, because we'd love to hear you say yes. Because no, no one, no one, no one said we're not trying to give you any incentive. We just want to hear your thoughts. Well, yeah, well, let us know what you guys think, you know, in the comments. Because we will actually you... take the criticism. Because we, we are being open Because we're not butthurt. We're not going to complain about constructive it. criticism. We take we things more professionally than a high-paying company does. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to disable... I going to say a bitch, and I was I'm gonna, not going to... I going to say a bitch. <laughs> well, okay then. Okay we're then. Not, That's not, not where we want to go, Anthony. No. We're not going to bitch and complain. If, you know, you don't agree with us. If you yeah, like, I'm... I'm not going to disable the likes and the dislikes. I'm not going to disable comments because I'm one of those people that's open to criticism. I'm like certain people, nail drunk man. <laughs> or, uh, or, or, uh, Ryan Johnson. Or, uh, whatever your name is. Sarcheese, Sarchezia. Miss yeah. Cheesy. Miss Cheesy Pants. Uh, alright, so, uh. Did you say Miss Cheesy? What the fuck? <laughs> What? You did not That's, just say people. I, I, I apologize that. for nightmare. I apologize. <laughs> hey, you guys have been going off the rails throughout this entire thing. Don't yeah, but you said on me. cheesy pants. What the fuck? That I was the mi worst thing we've said all cheesy time. pants. Mi 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 cheesy mi pants. Cheesy pants. Cheesy pants. Dude, he, like like I said, idiots. There's been worse. There's been worse. Cheesy pants. Mi mi cheesy. I don't know. I mi cheesy. Like There's the been a hell of a lot worse. Right. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely a lot worse. I have never, go, I've never gone over, overboard. Well, to be, well, to be fair, Josh and I did start calling. Did I did mention that uh, drunk man has a rapist face? So I guess, yeah, I, so, so I guess I should so, shut up. Yeah, yeah, you, you better stop that, man. So closing statements, justice. Um, closing statements. Uh, again, like I said previously, um, we we don't we don't hate the fact that it's uh, that. We don't hate the fact that it's female protagonists taking over the game. We don't hate that. We don't hate the fact that they're lesbians. Not that we, it's we, it's it's more like what the people. We don't hate the company either, because again, like like we said, fantastic fucking company. These people are these people are these people were juggernauts and rightfully so, but we just hate what they're doing with the game. We hate what they're doing with the game, like what they're basing it on. <clears throat> And again, like Anthony, like I said earlier, like you should have mentioned the fact that there's only like zombies in like maybe 25% or less of the game. From what and I read, that's what Yeah, that's dude, what you should have mentioned yeah. that right off the bat. And if that's true, then right out of the gate, we're talking fucking stupid. <laughs>
like fucking said, stupid like, justice exactly. 2020, 2020. <laughs> end quote <laughs> fucking, <wow. laughs> fucking stupid Fucking stupid! 2020. <laughs> Justice matter in 2020. That that about sums up 2020, doesn't it? Fucking stupid. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, yeah, I mean, look at, I mean, people, look at the year we're living in. We did mention the coronavirus earlier. This is this is I not mean, a good year. Th this has been a pretty messy year. Yeah, I'd say the least. Especially again, it's what they're doing with the game. It's just, it's just fucking just, stupid. <laughs> okay. yeah, yeah, I had you know, to put it in a different way. But it's just oh, like the execution, the execution, the intentions, I'd say, are probably good. It's just the execution is poor. The uh, and a lot of other stuff is poor, especially given the fact that they're not taking constructive criticism and they're calling us close minded when by them not taking the criticism, they're the ones being close minded. That is that is one of the things that really gets me. Uh, Anthony, any closing thoughts? Closing thoughts. Well, it's it's a matter of yeah, like they they should have learned to take constructive criticism more, and they're not. They're they're making this way more professional, or they should. They're making this way more personal. personal. Yeah, they're making it way more personal. Bigger, than it should right be word. coming from a from a <laughs> coming from a big company like them. They they shouldn't have. They shouldn't have. Like and they're, them calling us bigots. I feel like is what really got me. And I'm like, coming from a big company like this, you would not expect this to happen. And Don't attack your weird. fans, dude. Don't yeah. attack your fans. That's yeah. The most I mean, if you're attacking, I mean, if you're attacking your fan, I mean, if you're attacking your fans and calling them bigots, that's kind of being bigoted yourself. And you exactly. clearly don't give it, and you clearly Unless, don't of course, care about it's us, justified, so. and, but in this case, it's not. If you have nothing nice to say, just don't say it at all. Exactly. Yeah, but like some of the decisions they made, I really wish they would have bite done your it in a, Yeah. <laughs> The bite, yeah. Bite your that, tongue. That's all I gotta now. say. I, <laughs> mm. I feel like we were helping Anthony sum it up really well. Yeah, yeah. We, I got you. I got you, man. We um, spoke for you, buddy. <laughs> yeah. I got you back, uh, Logan. Man. What about you? With the whole like, uh, speak faster. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Don't be fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> He we're was like gonna quote last me on that for the rest of the year, I think. Probably. Yes, we are. Or we're, it's never, it's never leaving us, man. It's gonna be in our heads for. <laughs> it's gonna turn into a fucking gif. <laughs> but um. A meme and everything. But there the, you go. With them experimenting with uh, Ellie being lesbian, now uh, they're trying to go through the LGBTQ stuff. That's mm -hmm. good as like a little side thing. Should it should not be the main focus of the game? That's the issue I have. Mm-hmm. That they're pushing it to like the main narrative of the game, where it should just be off to the side, where it's somewhat focused on, but it's not the main story. Mm -hmm. It should that, be. It should be a character be trait, survival. not the story. It should yeah. be about survival. That's literally what the whole game should be survival. And but the yeah. fact that the uh, the enemy faction <laughs> is a group of homophobic Christians just kind of pushes it over the edge, because. It does. It's, it's more. What? <sighs> I got a in my head it. right now. You can't do it, man. You can't get he's got it. so much he want. He's got so it's, much it's getting, he wants to say that he that he's having trouble jumbling you. it all up. <laughs> it's hurting him. Oh Look, it's hurting him. People. Okay, on, people. On, we'll be right back Logan. to our regularly scheduled program. It. Okay, we're back. <laughs> Logan, what do you have? Logan, continue, please. <laughs> But it's, 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 it's sort of it's it's polarizing because you have this uh, you have this main quote unquote main folks that should be off to the side conflicting with the end with the faction where it's homophobic Christians but it's it's stupid how the main faction is labeled this when it should just be like a little bandit group right not just like the just like not, the hunters, not specified. Bro. Just simply you mean like cult. the hunters from the city? And you mean like the hunters from that city that Joel and Ellie went to in the in the game in the truck? Basically. In the first yeah, game. It, sh uh, it should be yeah. just like a random uh, bandit faction that had that high in power or something. Right. Not just yeah. a specified I've been group killing a lot of homophobic of Christians. <laughs> Not just I've been killing that, a lot that of that bandits. That's just unfable, so I think I know what it's. That's just like uh, that's a random Chopping weird down. flex, exactly. but okay. <laughs> <laughs> and also Logan. with them like not taking like criticism. They, Troy Baker said that he wants uh, players to come into this game open-minded, but they have to know that with uh, people going into games, 
their minds are already set from what they expect from the trailers. And from not, previous games alone. Yes. Not just from, like, hearsay and just stuff like Troy Baker said. They're all, their minds are already, like, focused on stuff they've seen about the game and stuff from legitimate sources about the game. Yeah. And previous games, like Anthony stated. So, they're more closed off than we are. So... <laughs> And yep. that's that's just unacceptable from a business exactly. perspective. Exactly, it's, mm -hmm. it's it's uh, it's childish. Yeah. Um, nightmare. What, uh, Logan? You're done, right? Yeah. I'm just okay. gonna leave it off as like I'm just not a yeah. fan anymore. Yeah. Uh, I will tell you this, Logan. That was a very great way of ending it right there, saying that they're childish. <laughs> I love that. I'm being serious. Fuck yeah. But yeah. Pretty um, pretty childish. But yeah. Nightmare. Nightmare. <laughs> uh, any closing thoughts? In fact, I feel like someone. In fact, I feel like someone here should mention um, the little Joel thing for the Last of Us Part Two. Hmm. Oh yeah. Fucking stupid. So nightmare. Go, go on. Doesn't make sense. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, that's, I that's should have seen that coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what? Fucking Fuck quoting stupid. me again. Okay. You know nightmare. I'll, nightmare. I'll nightmare is, seriously. It's yeah, so stupid. closing thoughts. There you go. No, I'm just all I have to say is it's fucking stupid. That's it. No, I'm, I'm just no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 you quoting me, that, motherfucker. That's it. <laughs> that's it. Um, you done fucking no, I'm just kidding. Okay, we're, we're... <laughs> no oh, quoting man. Angry Joe, if at all. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Ah, fu well, fuck it. end off your speech with that if you want. I don't care, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> man, a few words. Are you ever gonna let him talk? Yeah. We're gonna be here a while. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sorry. Okay, I, there, there's so much I wanna talk about but you know i don't want to make this any longer than it already has been well then get um, something that's well get something that's at the front of your mind out of your mind <laughs> talk i think it, you know it goes back to when we were talking about how when joel you know is being murdered by abby it's and how it's so early in the game or midway through the game it, it just it's not it doesn't feel right and it, it goes to what you said earlier josh how you would have rather him die near at least near the end of the game I would have. I always considered Joe and Ellie's relationship very similar to the. Uh, and I'm going to reference Logan here. Uh, to Logan and Laura, I believe is the name of the girl in that movie. To that sort of relationship, uh, Logan and Laura, who in the Wolverine movie. It, it, yes, yes, you're absolutely right about her name. Yeah. It, I was about to say, why the fuck are you talking about me? No, not you. <laughs> No, the not you, Logan. man, not you. I, Logan, but I will Wolverine. tell you this. I was thinking that at first, and then he said more. I'm like, oh, he's talking about it. He's talking about X-23. Yeah. Yeah. I'm talking, yeah I, I, they call her Laura X-23, whatever. Um, I, I just always got that vibe between Ellie and Joel. Very, very similar. And I honestly father, figured... Father-daughter father -daughter yeah. relationship. Yeah, which is what we've been saying. Very, very father, good. That's a very good. That's a very good thing to talk about. <laughs> yeah, I just... To me, if Joel was going to die, I would have killed him off very similar to how Logan died in the Logan movie. Very, probably not exactly like. Well, now similar, I don't need to like watch this. it to know what happens. <laughs> hey, it's been out for I'm years. Sorry. Okay, so don't don't judge me. It's been out for years. If you haven't seen I, it, already, I, it's I your wasn't going to watch it anyway. So. Okay. Well. Um, I just. <laughs> But I, I honestly would have rather that be how Joel would have died. You know, Ellie's right there holding his hand or something, you know, right there beside him as he's just bleeding all over the place. He's dying. And I don't know how he would die. I'm just throwing that in there. It's like a, it's a nice emotion. It's a very emotional, sad death, which is exactly how Logan's death was like. It was very emotional, very sad. It's like, oh, my God, this is the last yeah, time. Yeah, my death was very sad. Yeah, it was Logan. It was very sad. <laughs> um, yeah. No, you're... So, it was no, heartbreaking. No, Wolverine's death very. is sad. Your, your death will be... Your death will be celebrated. Probably. Uh, also, like yours. People, un people understand. I don't actually feel like that. He and I are great friends. Yeah, they probably don't even know what the hell uh -huh, you're talking yeah, about. Sure. Anyway. Um... Keep saying that. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, Wolverine, then. Just to make it, just so we don't get There confused. you go. Wolverine's yeah, death. <laughs> Wolverine's death was very emotional. I and I figured that would have been the perfect way to kill Joel off. It was just very emotional. I mean, his you know, Joel's daughter's death was sad as can be, and it was, like, it was, it was still sad. It was like, oh my god, his daughter just got murdered in the very beginning of the game. So, uh, to me, that would have been a f perfect death for Joel, but uh, the fact that this, the, the whole golf club thing midway through the game is apparently planned to be his death, it's like, it's just not 
to me it doesn't sound very fitting to his character. It's not really emotional either. It's yeah. it's a slap to the fans. That's basically I think, what it is. Yeah. From what you, what we're being told is that it's it's supposedly, a straight up slap in our face. Yeah. It's supposedly that Ellie gets. We can't have any lead white male characters in this franchise. Uh uh uh. <laughs> not <laughs> no, anymore. No, we can't. No, no. It, but I think because not long after she, he's killed, I think that she Ellie, excuse me, gets immediately taken away by Abby. So there's not much time for her to mourn for his death. He's. I, I promise you, the I actual think. game, um, when Joel dies, there's going to be, like, no mourning time at all. We're just going to move on, like, immediately, I guarantee yeah. you. Like, it never I, happened, or right. something yeah, like that. Yeah, it may, maybe. We, you know, like, we've all, like we mentioned, things I doubt change, they're gonna. I doubt they're going to pull it off, I doubt they're going to pull it off, like, Sarah's death in the first game, where, like, there's a short time of mourning time, but it's, like, but it's, like, it's just so there that mm. you're really mourning throughout the whole game, even though you barely knew her. Yeah. Yeah, but it, it it goes to sh it just to me that would have been a proper way to end it. And you know, Last of Us Two, he dies near the end, and I would have the next game just be Ellie going after Abby or something along those lines. Oh yeah, hell yeah! I at would least yeah. then, at least yeah. then, it would have been fitting. I don't know if they're going to do another game after Last of Us Two. Probably or not. not. They might. Probably mm. not. Dep I, it, it, depending on the, how the fans react to the, this game, it probably won't happen. But that. That would have been at least the way I would have done it, is have Joel die at the end and have it the next game continue with Ellie and going after Abby, supposedly. That that would be my idea of how I would have done it, but it is what it is. We're getting what we're getting, supposedly, you know, and yeah. and you know, if Ellie is supposedly going to die, I don't know how the hell you would want to make another game without Joel or Ellie. Exactly. Uh. Especially given the fact that again, Ellie is Possibly the only source yeah, for a cure. I was gonna say she is pretty much. I, I figured that was. The but then again, I guess it doesn't. But then again, I guess that doesn't really matter since according to since according to the rumors Anthony heard is uh, there's there's not even zombies for like twenty five percent of the game. <laughs> yeah, it's like oh we, yeah, we don't need a cure. Zombies so basically, it's so basically, <laughs> which would lead you to the conclusion either they just didn't focus on the zombies at all, or they're just deciding like they, they I were, don't know maybe the zombies have started lazy. to starve to death. Because they, they are still technically alive. Oh, so goodness. Solid. I don't know, man. It, it's, but th th this is all coming from a guy who's never yeah. played the first game. But I, like I said, I've mentioned yeah. earlier, I know the gist of how the game, the first game ended. I've just never played it before. And, uh, you know... Again, I, anybody honest... out there, again, anybody watching this that thinks he's missing out, comment down below saying, you're missing <laughs> out, you need to play it. Yeah, <laughs> the I, first I, one. Somebody, the first one. Somebody, not the second. Yeah, yeah, not the second. Yeah. Let's just clarify. Please yeah. clarify. So, I, I just, yeah, at the end of the day, like, play the first yeah. game. It's great. You don't even yeah. need to play a sequel, even though the ending of the first game is a little bit open-ended. You yeah, don't really need to, like, continue it's, it's playing more, it after it's that. a slight bit of a cliffhanger. Yeah. Slightly. A slight bit. Slightly. Yeah, it, has a cliffhanger. it has a cliffhanger vibe. It, it makes you think. You know, it's it's a good ending. Um, yeah, it makes you yeah. think, like, it makes you think, like, wait. It makes you think, like... Wait, like, what the fuck? Like, Ellie was just lied to by Joel. Yeah. Yeah. But, it, like, it, it is what it is, man. And it, like, I probably won't play Last of Us 2 if, if the way is this is how it's going to go. If that's how the story is about to just implode right then and there. I mean, I just don't know if I can Now, here's the thing. If the game, if the game in, mm. for some insurmountably unlikely reason, does do well. I may play it if my brother Ricky gets it, because I don't have a PlayStation myself. I may play it <laughs> if he gets it. If it does yeah. not do well, I'm not even going to touch it. Just make sure Moving you're on. not the one buying it, though. <laughs> yeah, move, move well, on. Yeah, I, 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 well, yeah, believe me, given what we're saying right now, I don't think I'll be buying it for him at all. No, no, no. The, the, the way, like, especially if all the behind-the-scenes stuff has happened in the studio, there's no yeah. way I can support this either way. But yeah. that's, that's really all Pretty I have much. to say about it is... Um, you know, I'm I'm really disappointed with where they're going with the story. I'm disappointed with how the developers were treated. It's a shit show, no matter how you look at it. And it's, it's a messy. It's a very messy. At the end of the day, the best way I and... see to not support, you know, not only stories with certain ideologies being pushed our way, but also with developers being treated like garbage. The best way to not support things like this 
is to not buy it. I understand that there were a lot of people that worked really hard on this game. Again, the graphics look great, the voice acting is fantastic, I'm sure the sound design and music is going to be 10 out of 10, but yeah, you know what? Troy Baker. Everybody loves him. The, he's a great voice yeah, actor. Troy Baker, the man of a thousand voices. He's a, he's a phenomenal voice actor. Regardless of his beliefs and things he's mentioned, he's a fucking phenomenal. great voice actor. Man of a thousand voices. He would not be called that for nothing. Yeah, so great it. great production value, but at the end of the day, it was really the thing that matters, the writing that screwed this up. Their methodology. The, the whole situation mm -hmm. with all the employees. I just can't yeah, man, it's morally just support this game. And... You know, like I said, if you're still wanting to buy this game because you're excited for it, go for it. I just hope that this video has brought some type of influence and perspective to those of you out there that are really bewildered why people are angry at this. So I hope this kind of yeah makes a little bit more sense. But that's well, we, really we hope it gets you prepared for what's to come in the game. Yeah, that you know, like oh, this is this is what you should expect if you yeah. get the game. That's that's really all we have to say. Um, yeah, I appreciate you guys watching till the very end, and I uh, appreciate you guys, you know, hearing us out and everything. And I'm again, I'm genuinely interested to hear what you guys have to think. So leave a like or dislike, whichever is cool for you, and feel free Whatever to leave a mean. comment. And I'm gonna try to read as many as I can. But the rest of us, the rest of us here may also read them ourselves. Yeah, we'll, we'll probably we'll check yes. it out whenever yeah. video, yes. you know, whenever, Absolutely. Yeah. About ourselves to see when the videos upload and everything. Absolutely. Because we, we ourselves would like to hear at least a few of those thoughts. Yeah, we'd, we'd like, like to hear read you guys. a few of those thoughts. Mm -hmm. we'd... At least, at least hear what you guys have to say. So please, if you're not you obligated think. in any way to comment, freedom or of like or anything like that, you're not freedom obligated in any speech. way. But if you want to, feel free. Absolutely. Freedom of speech. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Exactly. We hope you have a fantastic day and stay healthy out there. Because, yeah, uh, you know, safe, 2020 cool. is fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, right out of the gate, we're talking fucking stupid. <laughs> that was the media. <laughs> yeah, yeah, brother. Yeah. Yeah, brother. So stupid, brother. Yeah. yeah. See you guys. Be sure to subscribe. Peace, guys. Yeah. Right here. It is ma'am.